It is 5.41 on who fucking knows what day that is. My name is Ms. Quib. I am apparently living next to a construction site today. So that's cool. Um, I am married to McQueeb. Uh, thank you for lurking in his 30-day subathon uh, stream. We're on day 300. And it, it, it can't end soon enough. I am currently outside because um, I have I have children who um, who always want to do shit when I try to do shit. Uh, Zoe, for instance, is completely triggered when I'm speaking to anyone, which means as soon as I start talking, she's like, "Mummy, mummy, I I do need to go outside, please." Like every single time. Same thing with love. Um, kind of want to strangle myself so yeah so we we're outside she brought her baby because the baby apparently needed to go potty that's cool i mean bring your friend girl i don't care malarthy hi hello how are you and krona thank you so much for hanging out Queeb is i can't see him uh it is to my knowledge he's getting ready he's about to leave to go to his doctor's appointment and he's coming straight back We'll hop in the shower and then uh, he will be on the stream. So you guys have me until then. You're just going to have to fucking deal with it. We'll find shit to talk about. I may go silent here and there because, hi, I have heathens for children. I am also expecting my emotional support python to make an appearance. Um, so that would be kind of cool because I miss him so much. Um... Yeah, so I'm, I'm like waiting for him to kind of like poke his head out to just be like, I'm here, I'm ready for you to clean up my poop so I can like clean him and maybe you guys can see him, who knows. But yeah. Uh, let's see, as of uh, today, there has been no, um, no alien announcement. I'm just... I just want to go home. Why won't Why won't my mom come pick me up? It's uh, it, it it's it's kind of driving me nuts. Uh, for those questioning or concerned, um, Congress was given until I spoke on a construction site, and until June first to make plans to release documents confirming the existence of aliens or else someone in the Pentagon was going to do it. it it's for blackmail. <laughs> uh, so I'm, I'm waiting patiently and here's what the announcement's probably going to be. Yeah, I mean, they exist. They've existed for like a long time or whatever. And I mean, I don't know. What else do you, like, want me to tell you? That's what it's gonna be. Lenny, hi. How are you? How are you, Peaches? I hope you're great. Krona, the news has not, like, it hasn't leaked yet. So, so far, this is what we know. Back in... I just had, like, a brain fart. Like, Jesus Christ, December was, like, six months ago. Holy fuck. Um, back in December, in one of the bills that was um, sent to be voted on and was passed, I cannot tell you what bill it was, I'm sorry, I forget. They, um, for the record, just happened to, yes, I'm here. Um, I will be taking over for just a little bit until uh, Queeb gets back from his doctor's appointment. Um, I don't know, you guys will probably see him maybe 7.30, 8 o'clock, something like that. But as soon as he comes in, he's going to shower and then get on. Um, so yeah, so anyway, in one of the bills that was passed by our government towards the end of last year, hidden in the bill, what, what, what government people like to do whenever they send up bills is they put sneaky things on them. Like maybe the bill is about, you know, stimulus package. 
extra money for everybody, but hidden in it is, oh yeah, and by the way, we want X, Y, and Z. And that's why all of this brando shit ends up getting passed. So in one of the many bills that was passed in December, there was a provision that said that our government has until June 1st to admit to the existence of, they don't call them UFOs, they call them like, I think like UFAs or UAFs, basically aliens. They have until June 1st to admit to the existence of aliens and release their information or a source in the Pentagon is going to release the information for them. It's a really big deal. Uh, I mean, hi, they, of course they exist. There's like tons of video, like showing naval ships encountering them and whatever. Um, what, oh, I don't know. I guess like a good chunk of the population. They think that um, it, it's it's literally just going to be like, yeah, they like exist. Like, what, what do you want to know? Like, I, I don't know what you want me to tell you. Like, they're just going to like completely just miss it. Um, I believe, I may be mistaken, but I believe the person involved or connected to this release of information, I believe he is a naval officer that had an encounter. There was a ship, I want, I think it was like in 2019. My information is like, my numbers are off, but like my info's like decent. I want to say it was like in 2019 or, or yeah, 2019, yeah, 2019 was two years ago. For some reason, my brain's like, no, it was like 2019 or 1999. No, fuck you, idiot. Um, there was a uh, naval ship that was surrounded, supposedly, allegedly, for entertainment purposes only, etc. and so on and so forth. Please don't sue me. That was surrounded by alien crafts. And it wasn't like a battle or anything. It was like we were being observed. And there was a uh, camera person on the ship at the time. The footage got out, and I believe that is connected to this. Do not hold me accountable if it is not. Lenny, you got a kid! Oh my god! Um, you, you already know what the toll is. Um, the toll for new animals is they get posted in the animal discord. You already know this. I'm sure you're already on your way over to discord to do that right now. Yes, my G-Man is absolutely correct. We we have to see every animal. It, it's law. Um, Chrono, so yeah. So whenever I've been... Uh, whenever I make mention, like, oh, you know, I've been checking and there's no release of information, I'm literally waiting for the announcement that Congress is coming forward and they're saying, yeah, by the way, they exist and, and here's what we know. Um, they've already come forward a few days. Was it a few days ago? I have no concept of time. I mean, I'm I'm living in a subathon. Like, I still think it's February, Jesus. Um, they did release that we are living, potentially living in an energy simulation. Like, what? You mean, you mean all this shit is a fucking dream? Like, what? Fuck you, man. Uh, so yeah. Fun stuff. I know, right? I, seriously, like, just... And before, before anyone suggests it, my information is not from TikTok. My information is actually from, like, the New York Times. If you go to Google or your search engine of choice and type in, uh... I believe it's like alien announcement government. There are ads or, or there are um, posts on the New York Times and whatnot, Washington Post, talking about it, like speculating what the announcement will actually be. <laughs> I know, right? For real, like... And I don't, I don't even, I don't... 
I jokingly say that I want I want my mom to come get me. Like I want my, my mama alien to come get me and take me home because I don't like being at this party anymore. You guys are mean. Everybody's so mean to me. <laughs> just, just I want to go home from the sleepover. <laughs> and I'm only kind of joking when I say that. Just kind of. Well, I mean, Zoe obviously is very real. Yes. Where's your baby? You left him right there. Yeah, hi. Um, what else? I worked for a little bit on the uh, Patreon for my stream. I'm still kind of like narrowing down what exactly I want the vibe to be. Keep in mind the vibe will be different once we actually move and I have an actual setup. Like until then, it'll it's just going to be like voiceover. Um, so I don't have to worry about like, you know, dealing with lights or cameras or whatever. Like it, it's literally just taking the first step and, and streaming. And then when we move, unless Queeb stole them and there is a 72% chance that he did, I should have at least one light panel in theory. He probably took it, though. Can you please take a... St uh, Queeblet. So we can we go inside really quick? I have to take a picture of something for Dad because he left it. Come on, let's go. Come on. Do you want a cookie? Yeah, fat kids love cookies. Let's go. Um, on a construction site. There are no hot guys here. Please send reinforcements. Um, I don't know. Knowing knowing him, he won't. He'll be like, oh, I don't remember that. Maybe you're misremembering. That's, that's what he tends to say. Ignore the wind for just a couple seconds. Okay, we got the baby. I got the Zoe baby. I got the wind, apparently. Yes, blow, bitch, blow. <gasps> Where did the car go? Where did the car go? Well, Dad took it. He left. He left us, finally. Yay! We're free! Girls only. Well, technically, the only boy is um, Huxley, because we sold toast to chat yesterday for five subs. Yeah, we're just waiting on someone to come pick him up. Okay, hold on. So you fat today. And why does it sound like there's somebody in my house? Please don't be in my house. All right, hold on. I have to pay the toll. One cookie. By the way, she eats human iced oatmeal cookies. Um... I believe it was, wasn't it Malarthy that did four subs and then somebody came in and did five? Or did you do the fifth one? But yeah, it, it happened, Merle. Okay, hold on. Let's sweep up the phone. Um, we're going to grab a cherry Pepsi because it is mana. All right, let's go quickly take a photo of something that is in the printer for Queeblet. Oh, there it is. Did I do that right? Yes, I did. Okay. Hello. Zoe. No, he went, um, he went to the store. He went eat, I mean, he, I mean, he be back. Come on. Come on, Titi. She's like, yeah, but I know you have more cookies. All right, we're back at the 
desk. Oh, I'm wired. God damn it. It's fine. Whatever. We'll deal with it. Hi! Pull up his chat and make sure he got that. Get sent. He's good. Okay. So how are y'all? Because I'm about to go check Discord and there be, better be some like cute ass pictures of kittens. Because, yes I know, like, I'm having daily breakdowns over how fucking mean toast is. Like, oh, Jesus Christ. Angry, angry toast. Um, I'm, I'm still on a wait list for a Maine Coon kitten <laughs> by this time next year. <laughs> He is so angry, like, he just, he's not happy at all. And I, I get it. Me too, man. Me too. Lenny, he's beautiful. Oh, I love him. Thank you. He's perfect. Uh, my G-Man, I am, uh, messaging you myself. Um, what's my cell number? Yeah? He has my number. Okay. So that's done. That's the quickest way to get a hold of me, like... I can't take the laptop outside. And um, between both dogs, I go out, I'm not lying, I go outside probably 14 to 16 times a day. Oh yeah, we're, we're on that, we're on that monthly plan apparently. Krona, that's how I was with my cat, like, she just wanted nothing to do with me until maybe the last couple of years of her life. She just, she was just, I, I don't know. She was, she was like a roommate that I never saw, but like made sure her, her bills were paid. And occasionally I would have to clean up her shit. <laughs> Thank you very much, my G man. I appreciate it. So I do want to get more info about this for Krona in case you can't look it up. Um, alien announcement government. So, New York Magazine. When can we expect it? Okay, so one of the, I'm gonna like read parts of this for you guys. Uh, one of the many curiosities packed into the $2.3 billion omnibus spending and coronavirus relief package passed by Congress in December was a stipulation requiring that the Department of Defense and the Office of the Director of National Intelligence to deliver an unclassified report on unidentified flying objects to Congress within six months, compiling what the government knows about UFOs rocketing around American airspace. The report, which comes after a slow four-year drip of reporting and government admissions on UFO sightings, could be delivered to Congress any day now. This article is from So in the Google search it said two days ago, and now at the top it says it was updated yesterday. Um okay, let me speed through it. The legislation passed in December stipulates the report must include oh, that's such a good sound. Detailed analysis of unidentified aerial that's it, unidentified aerial phenomena, data, and intelligence collected by the Office of Naval Intelligence, the FBI, and the Unidentified Aerial Phenomena Task Force. This is a program that the Department of Defense created last summer to quote detect, analyze, and catalog UAPs that could potentially pose a threat to U.S. national security. Um, so in this 
article out there, I was like kind of speculating what it could include. Like, it's probably just going to include. Big... So here's here's the thing about our government. Whenever there is like this like like huge announcement, they're always hiding something. But like they're making that announcement to detract attention and distract you in a different direction because they're going to do something else. So it's either going to be a huge announcement to distract us or it's going to have as little information as possible, which is to say that they could simply report on things that have already been reported on. Like a big, um, a big thing that some people are thinking will be admitted to is the um, supposed Starlink sightings that people see um, in the sky. What is Star Starlink? Is SpaceX, right? Yeah. So, like, there's this. I know I'm horrible at explaining things. I'm sorry. I'm still getting used to actually talking to human beings after not speaking to anyone except my own damn self for the last year and a half. I'm sorry. I'll do better. Um, so there's rumors that the, uh, like, people have reported seeing stars move. Like, I've seen stars move. They didn't move in a, a pattern that satellites would move into. And they're like, no, 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 it, it's Starlink. We're, we're moving satellites up to the, up, up into their correct position. So supposedly, humans, females, uh, supposedly all of the Starlink sightings have been bullshit and they're actually aliens, alien ships. Supposedly those, um, those really weird sightings of like, they said, oh, it's the SpaceX, um, shuttle coming back into orbit and, and breaking up and, and that's why it looks that way. That is supposedly alien ships. Supposedly le like allegedly supposedly for, for entertainment purposes only. Please don't sue me. How many people have actually tuned out since I started talking about this shit? <laughs> I've broadcast a lot of their missions, so it's fairly easy to track where exactly. Um, if you're just joining us, it is uh, 6.04. Jesus Christ, it's already Tuesday. <gasps> it's June 8th. It's June 8th. Happy half miss to me. Oh my God, it's my half miss. Perfect. I'm not going to do what Queeb does. I'm not going to claim like a whole fucking month. I'll just claim the day. Look us up, dude. Day traffic was light. Friends are quite just in the air today. It, it's very. It's very. It's been very odd. I have felt very. Generally, when there's any type of. Um, solar or lunar phenomena going on like a full moon or an eclipse or whatever usually I'm pretty affected by it like I'll have headaches and I can't sleep and I'm restless and whatever and I've just felt like you know when you try to put your shoe on and like you don't untie the laces so you just like cram your foot in without untying your laces and you get your foot in the shoe, but you don't get it all the way in the shoe. And part of the back of the shoe is like, it's preventing your heel from going in. Like your shoe's technically on, but it feels off. Like that's how I feel. I feel off. Yes, please. Please give give me your kitten crack. I, I need the crack. Give to me. Like that. Oh my god, look at his face. Look at his nose. He's perfect. You, you did good. You did good. I think my favorite part of 
Uh, I was going to say of having a puppy, I have yet to experience that with a loaf. Like he's just, he bulldozes through everything. Like, I mean, of course, of course he's a fucking Taurus moon. Of course he is a little shit. Um, but generally like with Zoe, she, and with every other puppy I've had, and, and it happened with my, my cat too. And I got her when she was like five weeks old. They go through this period where at first they're like, they're so super scared and they're, they just don't want to do anything. And they have this one moment of bravery where they're like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to do it. And they just like march around the house. Like they own the place and they're like, they, they're starting to explore and they're very brave. That's like my favorite moment ever. They're like, they're perfect. Oh, that's right. Today was the Candytopia thing. Yes. I used to think, and I chalked this up on onto the fact that I didn't have anyone to teach me how to be an adult. Literally, the only the only way that I know how to adult is by emulating people who have been around me, or or like you know what I see on TV or in movies. Like, like I did not have a role model of any kind, male or female. And I've, I've noticed that like, I've struggled a lot with what my style aesthetic should be. Like, I was like, Oh, I have to, I have to figure that out. It's very important. I need to figure out like, do, am I like skater chick, even though I don't skate, but I just like bum around or I like wearing girly things and I have to be girly all the time. Or what if, what if I like, I like dress like, like the aesthetic of like Victorian goth, like, but like more Victorian than goth. And it's been only recently that I'm like, I could have both. I could do like whatever I want. And so one of the, one of the things that I'm looking forward to after the move is, um, my, I, I, I want to do like a split design in my, my office slash craft room. I literally want to like draw a line down the middle of the room and do one half in like crazy rainbow, neon, like, like cutesy girly stuff. And then the other half of the room, just like dark and gothic and display vintage Halloween stuff and, you know, be, be that chick. Like people who can do the the bright kind of the Jojo Siwa type. There's nothing wrong with Jojo Siwa. It's it's too bright. It's too bright. There's too many goddamn bows. There's too many fucking bows. There's too many sparkles. I always said that if I won the lottery, build a house that's black themed on one side. Like. See, so I've I've kind of figured out that I want my we're we're gonna be girly for a minute, you forty eight people who are lurking. Just just deal with it for a couple minutes. Um, I've kind of decided that I do want like the main guest areas of the house, like the thing the things that strangers will see if they come in, um, and I don't kill them. I want it to be like more of a like a a retro 70s or like early 80s vibe but I want it to be like but I'm rich and I'm like I'm more like people think I'm a vampire but they're not sure it's because I have weird things like I don't believe in purchasing or or like 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 shooting animals and I don't believe in like like commissioning someone to like get me a stag head but i want to f i want to find a stag head or or antlers or something to put on my fucking walls <laughs> yes like i want it to be like like I, I i can't explain it like like fancy nice kind of retro a little bit taking my time with antiques 
making sure that things are in like shades of, of like rich like emerald greens and like amber glass and and blacks and silvers and golds and stuff like that because I do want some of my personal style to be like in the front of the house but I'm gonna have to have at least half of a room where I'm just like I'm burning out my retinas because the pink desk or whatever is just so blinding that you know it, it, it just it has to be done is oh fuck i of course i don't remember who she is there is a i think the style is called lolita goth i believe but it's not necessarily like pastel goth it's more like like rainbows she has a shop in a place in tennessee i think somewhere in the the midwest slash south or like northern south area and she has this shop that it, it's kind of like in a crafting mall with like a lot of different like oddball type things. In her shop, she frequently has people like gawking when they walk past because there's a lot of bright colors and rainbows and she's always wearing these crazy colors and and like that that's her, her total vibe. And she gets a lot of um, judgmental people going in not necessarily Christians but there are like a lot of judgmental, judgmental people will go in and ask her if she's found Jesus and you know just being dicks but like her vibe it, it's she she's found a way to make it work and it's just it's, it's perfect um uh... If there is one thing, my G-Man, if there is one thing about me that is on brand, it is the phrase oddities. Let's see. I made the mistake of Googling the name and then I scrolled down and like in the... People also ask, like, and there's like, how tall is more timber? Is Barry still with Game Grumps? What happened to Game Grumps table flip? Why did Dan call his dad Avi? Are Ego Raptor and John Tron friends? How old is Susie Game Grumps? And I'm just like, do I do I do I want this? Do I? Okay, sound is down. Let's go to videos. The the thing that I'm working on is launching a curation site that, that's essentially like just like thrifted items like like weird thrifted items um and then work with some suppliers to get like weird things like little you know um a friend of mine she embroiders and i'm uh commissioning her to make more of a a horror themed live laugh love embroidery thing like like a framed thing um i have another friend that does jewelry and, and someone else makes tea stuff like that like it, it's gonna it's just kind of be like a hodgepodge and it's kind of in that vibe like i launched last year with t-shirts and i totally got screwed over by by printful and their their bullshit of oh yeah no 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 we're so sorry we didn't tell you um yeah, you have to you have to prepay for every single thing that you sell before you get paid. Like no, like it, in fact, they told me the opposite. So it was just you know, kind of a bummer. I did have to shut down, like after only like a month or so, which just kind of bums me out. But you know, it, it's if you can't predict 
how successful you're going to be and your Printful account is connected to a credit card and suddenly you wake up and then there's like $500 that have, that's been taken from your card. Granted, you get paid for that later on, like within a week or so. But it's, you know, it, it's kind of jarring. It, it's, what is it? It's something like... It, it's a, it's a, fuck, what is it? It's like a, 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 a spin on like the final girl thing. It, it's something like... Like run, kill, survive, or something like that. Like it, it's 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 final girl themed, which I thought was pretty cool. Like yeah, it's it's more horror themed, but it is more female positive, which is kind of the slant that I want to go for. I also wanted to go for things that weren't um, the the Halloween. I'm using quotey fingers. Industry is very odd. People tend to go with like, oh, uh, like Nightmare Before Christmas, right? Like Beetlejuice, right? Like they they think that like that's the vibe. Um, or they'll they'll do they'll go the the avenue of like Satan is my daddy and and all of this. I'm like, no, 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 no. Like I, I'm I'm not into any of those things, but that's cute. It's adorable. It's just not my thing. It's more like gothic vintage Halloween stuff. Like there is a woman on Instagram who goes by the name Hagwitch, but witch is spelled with two V's. And I've been building up my Halloween collection for a few years. Like I had to get rid of most of it. Well, I got rid of all of it whenever I decided to move to Florida to be with uh, Queeb. So I'm having to start over from scratch. And um, seeing her, she has a Halloween room. And it is all, like, everything in there is, like, vintage Halloween decorations, like, blow mold plastics and the old little ceramic night lights that look like ghosts and all of this. It, it's beautiful stuff. Like, I aspire to get to that level. I wasn't anywhere near that. I was, like, maybe, I don't know, a tenth of what she had, even at my peak. Exactly, my G-Man, yeah. Um, there, I've talked about this place before. It's in Pasadena. It's called Goldbug. Like, now, if you look it up, it's like, oh, yeah, yeah. It, it's, you know, love and light. And they have some taxidermy, but not a lot. And when I went to see it, I visited them. Like, I, I think it was a couple of years after they opened. It was very, like, dark and mysterious. And it, it was, like, the quintessential, quote, oddities shop. It was just, it was nice, like, like, it, it, it was, uh, like, you could, get, you could find uh, insects that have been, I, I don't know what the, the taxidermy phrases, but they were, like, you know, pinned onto frames and, and whatever else, stuff like that. But asked a few times what my aesthetic is, and my response is always, okay, I'm using gasoline. The, um... <sighs> It's, it's been forever. Hold on. The new covenants, that's the word I'm looking for, covenants on World of Warcraft. They all have like a different theme. And one of them is the Vinthyr. And their theme is this... I want to say it's like, it's like really trashy horror vampire stuff. Hold on, let me look. Um, it's like red velvet curtains and and like just dark and like there's like purple and red vibes and just super creepy and like it's just it's perfect like that's the vibe like spooky um there is a zone is it dressed just far i think it's dressed far which is kind of similar it's not as as like vampire chic 
but it's like spooky forest, haunted village. Um, they have these witches that hang, um, they hang little mobiles in the trees and it's like, it, it's so fucking cute. Like I want to make some just, just for shits. Um, I would say that's like more my vibe, like not, not so much like, yeah, like I said, it's like Victorian goth, but it's like, it's much more Victorian than it is goth. Like it's only goth in, in the color. If you've ever seen, um, Christine McConnell's, um, old house because she has moved she had a home in northern california let me find it oh that's actually a good photo like she has a f like for instance her kitchen is like traditional 50s 60s like bright and cheery colors and then you go to, um, like, if you actually look at her kitchen cabinets, which I've just linked um, a GIF in the chat, it's spider webs. Like, it's just very odd. Like, her her entire Northern California home, I'm, I'm it, like, it's, I think it's still for sale. I'm, I'm sure someone's bought it by now because it was just, it, perfect. Bastion... I don't I'm I'm hold on I'm looking for yeah wallpaper it's I don't feel like I can relax there like it's pretty it's pretty by the way the um did they call them shorts the wow shorts that they had beautiful absolutely beautiful artwork um like they're like oh my god it's the best thing that has come out of shadowlands and i'm still kind of upset that i didn't buy shadowlands but it's fine it's totally fine Oh, you're just going to fucking town. Oh, perfect. Give me that photo, please. Perfect. This photo, where are you? Where, where are you? That photo, that's the vibe I'm going for for the front of the house. Aggressive walrus. Hi, hello, how are you? I hope everything is perfect with you. It's a vague reference, but if you've seen Handball move me, like just place with the tapestries. Yes, my G Man, yes. Like it, it's beautiful. Like just. <sighs> it sounds weird to say comfortable. Like it looks comfortable. Like that's just my vibe, even though, you know, I have two rambunctious dogs, um, a husband that streams, and I deal with ADHD to a point that is almost crippling. I am sorry to hear that, Aggressive Walrus. Um, you will have to deal with me for just a little bit. Queeb should be back in about an hour-ish, maybe. Quick appointment, he'll come home, get ready, and then you guys will uh, see him. have to say there are many homes over the years that I've I've been drawn to and one home that I've loved that is kind of in the opposite direction of that is um, Amy Adams home in uh, Arrival she's on like a lake it's like a lake house of some kind it's like it's very sparse very open it doesn't look it looks like it is literally the the exact opposite of what we're talking about but it that's kind of been my struggle 
So I just made the decision that one day I'm going to have to make enough money so I can purchase homes of different aesthetics. And whenever I get tired of the current aesthetic, I just move. It's going to have to happen. If you're just tuning in, it is about 6.30 on June 8th. Kweeb should be joining you shortly. My name is Ms. Kweeb. Uh, you can find me at twitch.tv slash Ms. Kweeb. Um, yeah, we're just shooting the shit in chat. I'm keeping the metaphorical seat warm since I am, you can clearly see I am not sitting in the chair. She's so good. I love her so much. Uh, let's see what all what what all have you missed since I'm, I'm I kind of go incommunicado during the day just to there's too much going on so I organized my candy jars yesterday I told you guys that Queeb declared that the Necco wafers were bad they weren't um, that's that's his phrase for I'm tired of this food and I have moved on so without asking he threw out the entire bottle of Necco wafers not shocked i'm not shocked by this behavior i i know what i married i promise um he took the jar of sour patch kids into the office he did return it but it, it was removed um what else oh i decided that my half sleeve that i'm currently looking for a, a tattoo artist to help me with the half sleeve with uh, Huxley on it. I think I'm actually going to get it on my hip. Just because I don't, I don't know. It's not for anybody else. Like, I don't want people to touch. And like, look, like you can see if I show, but otherwise stay the fuck away. Uh, so yeah, so I'm currently looking, trying to figure out, I'm trying to figure out what I want before I find an artist because right now, at least here in Southern California, it's been very difficult for, um, to find artists that are still actually working in this area. A lot of them have moved to, um, to different areas. We, we're still almost completely shut down or rather we were up until a couple of weeks ago and now things are like they're loosening policies but people have already started working in different states um yeah so like i don't i don't even want to like talk to anybody because there would have to be like a deposit and, and like that whole thing i don't even know if we're going to be here in a few months my goal is to like get us the fuck out like i don't know if I could snap my fingers and have us be completely moved into an amazing house by, like, August 1st, then that's what I would like to have happen. Knock on everything, wood. My G-man says, ahem. You know how you can hear your name and be snapped to attention? Yes. It doesn't work with me. You said my goal in such a way that's that sounded like mine. Oh, it sounded like your name. Qua? Lenny. The cats, Lenny, the cats. You are killing me. He's perfect, though. 
that last photo. Like, he just looks content. What must that be like? RNG got his shit. Yes. Uh, let's see. My G-Man, I, I am a little confused. Can you please clarify? Is that what happened? Like I said my goal and you thought that I said your username or your name? I didn't. I wouldn't out you like that. No, I wouldn't have outed you. Michael. Yes, I know what your name is. No, I, I wouldn't have outed you. Because if someone mentioned my name in chat, I would be like, Excuse me? We haven't had that discussion. The, the the John Travolta movie Michael's very very good doesn't get a lot of credit that song my G-man is perfect there is I'm telling you like I never have my own topics to talk about I don't like it, it's just like I don't know like my, my, bra my brain is shit but I have a lot of useless fucking knowledge. There is... Is my volume down? Yes, my volume is down. I cannot play this. There is a live version of Kenny Rogers playing Ruby. And he is lit. He is so lit. And it's he, it's perfect. Like he He's not just lit, he's like 70s lit. Krona, hi. Queebot is very odd in whenever it, it gives its updates. Like like it updated at 634. Like like why that time? It wasn't it wasn't an event. It wasn't triggered. Does he not look amazing? He's perfect. I love him. Shit. 1972. Can you imagine being like, being a country singer, like a country rock singer? In the 70s? Oh my god. He looks ama- I want to look like him so bad. <laughs> he looks perfect. He was extremely fancy. Like all of those boys. Um, the, uh, there is an, a, uh, an outlaw country group. It's not really an official group. It's basically a bunch of people that just like sang together. Um, and they're called the Highwaymen. And it's like all the like, like big people. 
it's like um Waylon and Kenny Rogers and Johnny Cash and Chris Christopherson, Willie Nelson's in there too, and Merle Haggard and and all of these guys are just like they're just living the dream. Like there's Chris Christopherson back in the day. What what excuse me, what? Who is you? Like just perfection. That's who he is. He's perfection. I post that song in art and music. I did. I did. By the way, the the song Argu is still on in my head. I'm just letting you know. Even right now, like right now, it's in my head, and I can't play it. I can't sing it. I can't hum it. That's like the worst thing about streaming, especially when you have like ADHD and you're like your brain just kind of goes into different regions and just does its own thing. Help me. We see you're using an ad blocker. Do you need help disabling it? No, fuckface. I don't. I don't need any help. Yeah, I mean, with the DMCA thing, it's... I don't even want to take the chance. Because knowing my absurd luck, it would happen. Which, I mean... I believe... I don't think... Maybe it... I don't know. Maybe it is against terms of service to create a, a second account. I'm not sure. Um... But that would it would be way more trouble. So what I'm probably going to use is um, string beats. Is that Harris Heller's thing? I think it is string beats. Yeah, it's just it's all copyright free music. He gives you the license to upload. Like I'm just gonna go with that. They have um. They have synthwave, they have lo-fi, they have EDM. Yeah, like whatever, I'll, I'll use that. So, Krona, regarding the chocolate powder, Queeb, I'm making, I'm making sure I got this right. Do you know what Milo is? It's like a it's like a, a powder, like a malt chocolate powder for your drink. He will eat it by the spoonful, dry. 
Like he hasn't done it in a while because he he's out of that phase. But yeah, like it's same thing with like malt, like malt powder, but like like malted milk in a, a canister. Is it car? <laughs> no, you're supposed to judge him. No, no. But yeah, like he was super into that, like cans and cans and cans. No, uh, what? What the fuck? I'm gonna ask him about the sandwich thing. If I forget, you ask him. Like, no. Oh. It was just, um, it was just like, he, he would sit there and like, just eat it straight out of the can with a spoon. And it's just like dry fucking powder. Like what? What's wrong with you? He's like, it's good. Shut up. You try it. No, I don't fucking want to. I'm not a heathen. Like, look, I grew up trash. Okay. Fried bologna sandwiches. That's like my shit. I draw the line at eating hot chocolate powder. <laughs> Is a card. The whole reason why he got into it was because we used to do the grocery shopping together when we lived around the corner from the um, from the grocery store. He would, um, I would need him to go with me to like help carry stuff back, just because it was. Parking was so valuable. I could not give up my parking spot on the street just to literally drive literally around the corner. I couldn't do it. It was just like, it, it was stupid. And so we would walk up and down every single aisle just like, you know, chatting because that was usually the only time that we would actually get to spend together having a conversation. And we were walking down the aisles and he saw it and he's like, I'm sorry, what? I haven't had this in forever. Like, I want to say he said he hadn't had it since he was like a teenager or some some shit back in Australia. And and he, he got on his little kick. I don't eat anything that weird. I remember uh, the the what is it called? Like, like not just pixie sticks, but also like the what 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 are they called? They used to call them like the fun dip. Um, <laughs> stop. Um, so like that is, that's like my shit, right? I, oh. Queeb. Queeb and I, one of the many areas we bond in is weird candy slash food things. When we lived in Florida, we went to the store together. I think it was Walmart. And they had their um, uh, their Valentine's Day candy on sale, and I got like a box of those Valentine's Day fun dips, where it's basically a thing of fun dip, but then like printed on the side as a Valentine. We got two boxes of that, took it home, cut open the powder side, and dumped it into a container. <laughs> and we kept all of the sticks. So we could just, because we like lived and ate and slept in the bedroom, we would just like, pass me the jar and we would just like eat. <laughs> jar. Fucking fun dip. It was fucking foul, but man, it was good. It was so good. Um, but anyway, as a kid. Second grade? I was like, I can totally make that. It's just Kool-Aid, right? So I literally opened a packet of Kool-Aid. And I poured some in my mouth. <laughs> and I had this, this moment where I was 
I literally thought I was dying. <laughs> like, I don't understand. Like, it didn't occur to me, hey, fuck face. When you make Kool-Aid, you put sugar in it. You have to put sugar. Like, it, it's like, yeah, it's the Kool-Aid stuff. It's also sugar. And shit. Like, you gotta do that. It never occurred to me. That That's as far as I've gone with, with the powdered-ish. However, 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 listen to me. If you take some of that hot cocoa powder, especially if it's the kind with the dehydrated marshmallows, put a couple of spoonfuls on vanilla ice cream, and you can thank me later. I'm just... Just giving you some friendly advice. I will never stop. I will never stop. This is my show now. Krona, I, I was never into those. The little... Yeah, like I, I wasn't into those. I was... The only thing I was kind of into was like the, the ring pops. Like... My candy history is very stunted because I wasn't, like, like one, I wasn't allowed to have candy as a kid, and two, even if I was, we didn't have the money to pay for it. And, like, you're not allowed was basically my mother saying, we can't afford it. So, like, a lot of these candies I didn't experience until I was, like, older. Like, I had, like, these brief interactions, but for the most part, like... Like ring pops, for instance. I didn't have my first ring pop until it was like 25 or some shit. I've been very reminiscent of the Flintstones orange bush pops that we used to have in school. And I have vanilla ice cream in there, and I have sun-kissed soda. And I'm very tempted to try it, even though I know I will hate it. Or I will love it. And then I'll just be pissed off that I, I, I shouldn't be fucking eating it. Shouldn't do it. So that, that's where I'm at right now. I also have like three sink loads of dishes I need to do. So I'm just, I'm trying to avoid the kitchen right now, even though I am kind of hungry. I can't even tell you what Mountain Dew tastes like. I don't, I've never had it. Like I've never had it. Don't look at me like that. I've never had it. No, I do not. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I have big sweet tarts. I don't want a big sweet tart. Like, literally, all I have on this desk is I have big sweet tarts. I have my cherry Pepsi. A cookies and cream chocolate bar wrapper and a tarot card deck. And that's literally it. I have nothing in here. If I go in the other room, my kid will wake up. Okay, RNG approves of the shirt, which is good. That way I can move forward with the next uh, shirt that I want to do. Which will be a bread loaf shirt. Or bread lord.
Okay, we might have to go to the kitchen. Let's go sneak to the kitchen. Maybe Zoe will stay in here. Uh, my G-Man, that's, that's totally cool, like, for real, honestly, like, take your time. I want it to be, like, perfect. This one that I'm doing, it's going to be... It's probably just going to be in... Eh, I'll probably do a black one and maybe, like, a, a bright pink if they have it. But it's just gonna have, like, embroidery on the, on the pocket. And it'll just say, like, Bread Lord or something. I'm nailing that down. Like, I'm I'm making one for me, and one for Queen, and then I'm making one for chat. Um, but it's going to be one of the, the only kind of embroidery things we do, just because it's so fucking expensive to do. We're now sneaking to the kitchen. Do you ever have a husband that just puts like carrots? Like he opens a bag of carrots and he puts them in the fridge? Like on a plate? Like, do you ever deal with that too? are stale I will cry. I just found a whole unopened bag of mellow cream pumpkins. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so scared. K2, my love, how are you? I found I found a bag. Oh fuck, that smells so fucking good. An unopened bag of mellow cream pumpkins. Okay, taste test. Fingers crossed, cross everything. Fuck oh, me, man. Shit. I have the whole bag to myself. No, Zoe, you wouldn't want this. You wouldn't possibly want this. This is this is nasty. Blech, so nasty. It's disgusting. She's like, no, I'll, st I'll, I'll try it. I'll try it for myself, thank you. Oh my god, I'm so excited. It's like one of the only holiday candies that are still around that hasn't been, like, bastardized. Please excuse me while I stuff my face. Like, I used to love the chicks, ducks, and bunnies for Easter. Because they used to be big and I could snap them in half, and now they're really tiny and they're harder. Um... The company that did Conversation Hearts, they, they're no longer in business or they stopped production on Conversation Hearts. So there's no regular Conversation Hearts, there's no Berry Conversation Hearts, there's no Sour Conversation Hearts, they're all done. Sweet Tarts has tried to do something similar, so they're like, like heart-shaped Sweet Tarts. And again, they're too hard. They're too hard fucking hijacking shit for me. Are you fucking kidding me with this shit? No. This is my dinner. Um, so let me go back. A loaf with a headset listening to loaf by me. <laughs> oh, no, speaking of, I got... I think I got video of him being angry. 
why did she say angry like that? She's such a bitch. I'm again. Listen here. Is that him? Okay, so he's jumping on me. Do you hear a lot of growling? There's only a couple of like Good face shot, so I will... Too big to upload to Discord, so I'll upload it to... She it. I don't want it on... I don't want to post it publicly. Well, wait, you, you, um, you texted me. So let me, let me find you and I'm just going to like send it to you and you can deal with this. Like you can look at it you can be like, I'm sorry, what? And if that's not the reaction, then I don't know what to fucking tell you, mate. Is that it? Jealousy, hi! It's just me right now. We're waiting for Quabe to get back from the doctor. He just told me um, that he's finishing up. Okay, my G-man. I just sent you... That, it doesn't give me a, a status bar. So, hopefully you have it. I want you to enjoy that. Like, I was... I made this video for K2. I was showing her um, his harness... And, uh, he's just, he's going off. Like he's so like, that's a typical day with him. Got off work at 3.30, just got home. Oh no, I'm sorry. <gasps> I'm so sorry. I've, oh my God, I've fucking been there. Oh my God. I gotta fucking, like, I have fucking been there having to walk around a fucking Walmart at 11 o'clock at night while I wait for my alternator to charge up enough so I can actually get home. He's mean, right? I'm so glad you have strams, zealousy, like for real. It's like the worst. Okay, perfect. <laughs> He's so, like, that is typical behavior. Constantly, nonstop. And when we're outside, sorry, these are so good. So I bought one of those little lawn chairs that sit on the ground. Where it just has like the back and the seat. Because he, he wants to sit on my lap, but the chair that's out there, it's too big for him. Like his favorite thing to do. It's one of the cutest things he does is if he's, we have a dog run. We don't actually have like a yard. And my chair is kind of in the middle. And he'll be at one end and he will run as fast as he can and he will take a flying leap and try to land on my lap with his nails. Like he's he's learning. He's learning. Um so I have like that little chair 
And it's always like this, this kind of situation trying to get out of it because, you know, it's on the ground and I don't have anyone to help pull me up. So it's literally like, I don't have anything to grab onto. So it's using my arms to hold on to both of the arms of the chair and then using my feet to hold down the base of the chair and then standing up. Well, as soon as I stand up, that's when he just kind of launches into this like <laughs> kind of bullshit. He is mean. He is a meanie. Oh my God. I'm just like, I'm counting, I'm counting the days until puppy classes. Like, like, can I, can I do his puppy shots one day and classes the next? Like, can I do that? <laughs> Krona, he has like 84 toys. He doesn't need any more toys. Like, he... I, I promise you, I'm doing like all the stuff. He is just... He has a fuck ton. I have no idea why he is this aggressive. He doesn't... I was talking about this the other day. He doesn't enjoy being petted or loved on. He gets very angry about it, and that kind of makes me sad. Because, like, how did he get to that point, you know? I know, like, he's... He has, he has his, his buttery bread little loaf moments where he's sweet and buttery, and he, he's just... He's so sweet, and then he wakes up, and then he's an asshole. Like, just, just an asshole. So the shirt that I'm making right now, oh, where's Canva? I'm going to use Canva because I don't have Photoshop on this laptop and I'm finding that anytime I'm like, I'm trying to get started in doing something, there's always some kind of obstacle. They'll just start popping up and I'm like, I'm not, I'm not here for that. I'm not here for that. Like you, you can pop up, but I'm not dealing with it. So one of them was, oh, what about Photoshop? No, fuck you. I'm not using Photoshop. I'll use Canva. You want to sit there and like keep blocking me out of my my Photoshop? Because it, it's it's Quabe's account from work, and so what they've done is they've locked him out of his account, which means they've locked me out of my account because we shared an account. So I'm like, no, that's fine. I'll use Canva. I pay for the pro version, bitch. Fucking bring it. Krona, he absolutely becomes burnt. He becomes this spicy little fucking toast. Like, just angry toast. Angry toast. Not happy. I found that there are ways around it, and it's usually involving food. Like, for real. I, I haven't sat down to eat in, like, weeks. Like, literally since we got him. So, I stand up in the kitchen at the counter to eat. And he comes and he sits on my feet and he just looks up with those big gray eyes and he's just like, I don't know what it is, but I really enjoy it, please. And then he'll lick my legs like, oh, you're so cute. I'll completely forget every atrocity you have committed in the last three fucking weeks. K2, that is yes. For real, like, yes. Although, to be extremely fair with you, I'm I'm not counting on us making a lot of headway until you get moved in set up. Like, like literally, like, in six weeks. Just because I, I know, like, you're having to move. You, your husband, your kids, your reptiles, your dogs, like, your businesses. Like, I get it. So I'm just... We, we will make do with what we have. Fuck you hurdles. We don't care. Not about it. But yeah, like this is fine. Like making this um the one the one thing that I need to find out about is so the why am I I don't need to open it up in another window. I already have it. With the print company that we use, when they do embroidery, it's
like they they prefer you do it in kind of like a shape which means i have to like figure out what shape like uh Queeb's, uh beard on his hat that is a shape like it is one continuous shape and the machine has difficulty doing numerous shapes and so in this instance they would consider each letter a shape so it's like you know like it's another fucking hurdle it's like no bitch you weren't listening no hurdles can we make it like i don't know slack thank you for joining us we're just talking about i don't know business shit packing aspects is going to say dude so if you don't know, like, K2 is my business partner. She's my best friend. And, like, I, we've literally known each other, like, since years before you were even pregnant with, with Tater Tot. And now she's, like, eight or nine. Um, so we talk, like, every day, all day, off and on. Your, yeah, like, about 15 years. Like, Jesus Christ, our friendship could, like sneak out and try to drink and knock up a girl oh um anyway your your impending move like she just she just bought a house finally so the move date is like in a month so it's it's wearing on me to the point where i'm i'm kind of in that same zone now like I'm starting to I'm starting to go through shit and clean it out because of you. Like can I throw the whole house away and start over? That's what I would like to know. My G man, what is your question? Oh my god, the fate emote. She's just so perfect. Like it's been weird. Something, something. <laughs> See, that's how you are. You hear, you hear something. You're like, no, I thought, I thought you said my name. I didn't say your name. I heard you talk about knocking people up. It, I wasn't knocking <laughs> people up. No, I've known K two for fifteen years, and I said our friendship is old enough to like legally sneak out. Well, not legally, but like sneak out of the house and try to drink and try to knock somebody up. I was knocked up. Yeah, that, that's kind of how, where I'm at. Like, here, here's here's the problem. I haven't revealed this this knowledge because it's so stupid. I do like. I will not get into it, but I take out the trash every week. It is the bane of my existence. Every Sunday night, I have to have the two bins on the curb. Our two bins, we use them, and then we have another neighbor who also uses those bins. We've lived here since, like, January of 2019. This person has never taken the bins out. This last Sunday night, I was so exhausted and like I I was I'm going through it. Like I said in the like at the beginning of the pregame, this is day 300. I am I am so done. I am no more subathons. I am over this. Um I was just like I by the time I remembered that I needed to take the bins out, it was like one in the morning on a Sunday night. I'm like, I'm not gonna do that to people and wake them up by hearing me drag the cans out. So I left them and I'm like, I will, uh, the trash runs at eight. It runs between eight and 10. So I'll have the, the bins out there. Like the baby normally wakes me up about six. I'll take them out and it'll be fine. Um, the trash ran at five 30. And I know this because I took him out and I heard the truck on the street. I'm like, no. No, no, this is not reality. I ran him back inside because he's he can't stay out. Um, quickly ran over, dragged the bins out to the curb. And the fucking dude in the truck 
the fucking dude in that goddamn truck, he pointed at me and he pointed at the bins and he said, late. And he didn't pick them up. So right now I have two full bins. And I'm like, I'm like, you don't understand. I have no place to put overflow. I need to go through everything in my house because my friend is going through her house and I'm feeling it by proxy. Like I must do this and I need to, I need to throw out my house. How do I do that? Like it's, it's a moment that I'm having. My G-Man, listen, I'm going to play man and chat. I'm awful, awful person, man. <laughs> Sweetie, aren't we all, though? Um, sometimes, maybe? No? Just you? Maybe. I don't know. <sighs> if, if we ever did another one, there would, there would be a lot of parameters. Like, we would... <laughs> What would I do? I would definitely hire mods, that's for sure. I, I don't have, like... Like, e even, <laughs> even with my life right now, like, modding with a puppy and a, do a dog that already wants to go out, like, five to six times a day anyway. And now, every time that the loaf wants out, she wants to go out, so that's, like, a whole thing. Um, so I would probably definitely hire mods to work 24-7. Um, and I would make sure that I had backup. So like, that's like, that's money. Um, if I don't have a housekeeper, I would probably hire at, like at least somebody to help like come in a couple times a week to help because like the, the house has been completely trashed. I haven't had the time or energy to do anything. Yes. Yes, it's because I chose to say yes to the puppy that I've been trying to get for fucking five years. Shoot me. Peter won't go out so she can help. <laughs> exactly. She was so sweet. Like, we were having difficulties, like, finding mod help the first week because it was like... It, it, it was like, it was just shit. <laughs> like, nobody was available to buy. And I was, I was just venting to her, and she's like, I could do it. This woman who runs like 84 fucking businesses on her own and has a full time job and has like three kids and a house full of fucking animals and a husband, like, offered to watch chat. Like, I love you, but you're, you're, you're an idiot. Like, I love you so much, but no, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> but like, man, like there'd be so many things that, and, and that's, I let him plan everything. Like I, I would, I would absolutely like. He, he, he planned everything, including, like, talking to mods and setting that up. And then I was kind of dumped onto it in, like, day two or day three. Um, I helped with a few of the, the goals, but they were his goals, and he just needed, like, feedback. And I, t I helped to tweak them a little bit. Um, I would come up with uh, a different reward system definitely get more people to come in we were expecting a lot of people to like chime in and, and help out and you know entertain and that didn't happen either but that is the nature of things that's what happens slack thank you very much i'm i'm doing my best and y'all have been super sweet super kind you you guys already have us like over 1800 subs like what like, we're only on day, like, 25, 26. And you guys did that. That wasn't me. That was you. So thank you to everybody for real. Hayden. He, he absolutely needs a hot tub stream. 
And I mentioned it to him. I'm like, well, I mean, you're going to have to make, make the money to buy a hot tub. And immediately, like, he's already researched it. He's like, um, inflatable hot tub. I'll put it in the office. I'm like, um, don't think me think GameStop doubling. In <laughs> I need, I, I need to learn about the stocks. Both me and K2 need to, like, we, we got to get on that. Especially with me having to add two, two brand new enclosures for two new baby snakes. Like, yeah. How much was it? Are you talking about the subs? I have no idea. Like, I, I know that we're, we've beyond doubled or even tripled. Like, yeah. My G-Man, absolutely, go for it. And if you have a Prime sub, you can use it here for free. Did you know I found out a few months ago that... So Queeb and I, we share a Prime account. Like, we're, we're considered, like, a Prime family. And he is considered the Prime, like, head of household, and I'm just considered a family member. So we only get one even though i technically have my own prime account well i don't have my own prime account i guess i have like my own login and my own account but we share prime so we only get the one prime account it's so stupid one of my friends he invested in doge and in The moon one? Oh, Jesus. Whatever the moon one is. Um, and he's like, literally every day, he's like giving updates. And I'm like, I'm just like, Ugh. I don't know that much about it. I've tried getting in into it. I don't understand. I'm trying to do what I keep telling you guys to do, which is, you know, invest your taco money. Don't invest your rent money. Which is fine because I have, I have no access to cash. Um, oh my god. K2, your dogs are so... Like, this, is, this is my friend that has the cane corso. This is my friend that has the cane corso. That, that's going to have puppies one day and I'm going to get a puppy. <laughs> and she's like, she's perfect. Like, 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 she just has this... She's like a moose with a baby face. And then uh, she has another dog that's like half King Corso and half Pitbull, I think. And he's like, oh. he's such a babe. Oh, my God. And your crypto doge is low, low as hell. Anyway, I would not recommend this to anyone looking to make money. I'd recommend it for someone who has not. No, I get that, Mallory. And that's kind of why I've... I've just kind of like stayed away from it because I don't know what I'm doing. It's very difficult for me to do something if I don't understand what I'm doing. Like people saying, just do it, just do it. Just, just, just throw in 10 bucks, throw in 20 bucks. The, like to me that it doesn't compute and I can't understand. Hello, my love. I hope your appointment went well. I can't wait to see you at home. I found a bag of mellow cream pumpkins and that's what I'm eating because I don't want to make noise in the kitchen and also there there are no clean dishes because I need to do dishes and I don't have any paper plates and I'm just really hungry right now and I want another pizza. <laughs> I've tried K2 and I think the problem is that the people I'm finding who will talk about it are they're talking about it in a way that seems abstract and I think for at least the first few I don't know the first while I need someone to literally say do this like take your ten dollars do this use this this thing to do this to do like 
actually literally handhold me because nothing else is computing because that's how fucking brain dead I am. I'm just let her out of her kennel. Oh, I really do want to just kidnap your dogs, K2. For real, my G man, like, if you did a stream where you, like, literally walked us through exactly what to do, I would absolutely watch and I would tip. I can't do that unless they're certified. Can he do it? Like, can he make suggestions? Like, can, like, like, are there any warnings that he can put on or just do like private, like, like a private discord stream? Is that legal? Sound like a... <laughs> Because, yeah, like, it's, I watched this woman on TikTok. Yes, TikTok. Get over at TikTok. Um, and she, she's, like, a wealth of information about it. Like, like, she's constantly talking about, you know, the hot wallets and cold wallets and all of this. However, like, I, I literally need someone hand-holding me the first few times so I can actually understand what's going on. Um, and I need it to be less abstract. But, Queeb, is it people we, we trust? Because I trust my G-man. I mean, it's in his name. He's my G-man. So I trust him. I don't know. Like, like, I I want to invest twenty dollars into something. We find like a private, like a private thing on Discord and. We'll do it that way and we'll manually type out, hey, we know you're not our financial planner and you're just being a good friend and you're fucking showing us how to do this shit. I'm not going to get upset that you're spending my $20. <laughs> Stop! Stop! Stop. Look, I'm trying to be more responsible with money and have more income streams coming in. And if I'm able to take like a few bucks here and there and dump it into a stock and have it grow extremely passively, then so be it. Do you know how much meat I waste every month buying things to make you dinner and then you don't want the dinner? And then I, I've wasted like a $12 steak. That's $12 that could have gone to Doge or something. So, we'll be fine. I understand that part. Like, that that's not... That's not the part that I'm confused about. The part I'm confused about is literally the exact process like i have a coinbase account do i do i buy them through coinbase do i use something else like i know i should go with index funds or um oh what's the name of it the one where it's like it's like a three three letters, but it's one that you you do um, uh, like there's like a bunch rolled in. How much phantom? We, well, we don't have any right now. I'm working on it. I'm working on it, Queeb. If you're just joining us, it is seven twenty six, almost seven thirty on June eighth. It's a fucking Tuesday, people. Um, there's about 60 of you lurking, or maybe you're being somewhat active in chat. Hi, hello. My name is Ms. Queeb. I am married to Mick Queeb. 
who is actually listening probably in his car on the way back home so he can shower and then come and see you guys because he misses you and you guys are our friends we don't have a lot of friends it's just you guys um in the chat we are currently talking about me finding a bag of mellow cream pumpkins from halloween in the cupboard and not wanting to wake up my pterodactyl of a child in the other room um so i'm quietly eating mellow cream pumpkins on the phone while i talk to chat about learning how to um buy stocks this is not financial advice he is not your financial planner nobody is your financial planner unless you actually have one i'm sure they're really good in which case could you actually give me a referral but otherwise you cannot hold us liable for any information that you hear upon this stream because we are not financial planners we're not like girl I'm scared to death to buy groceries every week because I know how much it's going to be. I have I have 62, 63 people in chat. No cats and no lawyers. It's entirely not a Ferengi, although in this instance, if I wanted to make some like good money, I would find a Ferengi to do it for me because they could. They'd be misogynistic as fuck, but they make me a lot of money. True. I would have to make it extremely worth their while or um, go on an adventure with, um, what are they called? Um, Self-sealing stem bolts. Thank you, my Juma. That's very nice of you. <laughs> Hi, pro noob. How are you?
Quibus, if you are listening, if you have any photos of you wearing our merch, can you please um, send it to me? Please and thank you. No. Okay, I'm back. Dad came home. No, I muted the phone so I could go first so I could answer his call and then I saw him. He was trying to it showed up as a video call, so I, I knew he was outside the front door, so I had to go let him in. Blah blah blah, et cetera, so on and so forth. Um Pirate Mighty Bear. <laughs> Do it. Difficult for a numbers person to see all this, but design. We've only talked about video games. Yeah, that's, that's all we were doing. We're just talking about video games. For whatever reason, when I see the word chocobo, like, my brain can't process it. And it tries to say something like, like, chocolate something. And it just kind of sputters. Like, I just want you to know that that's a thing. <laughs> Thank you very much to Anonymous for tipping $12.28. That's, um... Uh... That, that is technically a round number, so I guess we're good. Chocoho! I love it. <laughs> yeah, like, if I saw that, I would think, like, Pomator. To have Chocobo spam be a seizure one. It might be.
I saw somebody make a sandwich and instead of using bread, they used tomato slices. And at, at what point is it too far? Like, like, where's the line? Why, like, where do we draw that line? And can you tell me where the line is so I can, like, be observant? I don't, like, I think it's a keto thing. No idea. What? I literally just walked away for a second to give Queeb a hug. What the fuck is going on here, y'all? Thank you. Thank you very much for all of the um, anonymous subs, anonymous uh, gifts. Thank you. Super cool, super legit. And thank you to uh, Krona for the $1.37, which has put us back up to 2 <laughs> Krona, can you remind me again what gang you're a part of? Pro noob, it was an actual like fresh tomato slice. I'll, I think it's a somewhat popular person on uh, on TikTok. She's like really big about like keto stuff. She's like one of those. A buddy of mine cut out bread and did a grilled chicken sandwich, replaced bread with lettuce. Oh, yeah, you can, like, totally get burgers that way, too. I've tried doing that at um, Chick-fil-A back when I actually ate there. Um, they will replace the bun with uh, with lettuce, and it's it's pretty decent. K2. K2, these, these people don't... They don't understand about the farts. They've, they've never witnessed it. They've, they've never, they've never, like, I've never sat down and explained it to them. So they're probably like, why is that a big deal? Which means I have to find the video on YouTube and send it. <laughs> I remember when I first sent it to you, you're like, no. Yeah, like they, um, snakes fart. And they fart loud and they open their mouths like they're they're quacking ducks when they do it. Like it's a thing. Cup cereal gang in any chaotic neutral gang. <laughs> See, I didn't know we had a chaotic neutral gang. That's like totally my thing. Like that's my brand. Chaotic neutral cryptic ho. That that's it. Prona, thank you for the sub. Uh <laughs> I appreciate the subs. Queeb absolutely appreciates the subs. He was he he just surprised himself. Hold on, I'm gonna see if I can find that again. I don't even know what to. I don't know. Let's go, Miss Queeb. What are you searching for? Snake farts. Oh my god! I found one. Oh, that's so sad. Is it loud though? Because that, that's the whole thing. Okay, hold on. Let's. Is it loud though? It is loud. Ignore me talking in the background. Okay. Let's try that one.
from Noob. I'm not. Sh I'm not sure which one I would prefer. To be honest. Do you need me? Farts are top five reasons. That's that is my plan. K two, like legit. I mean, I I don't know. I don't. I don't want to have to buy two for the two new babies, and then two for the babies I have now. And I don't know. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. But it's a thing, and people need to see it. Especially because we get a lot of people saying, You need a snake cam 24-7. We need to see them. Like, they don't do anything. Like, I would love to have it. They just don't do anything. And we would have to rig the camera to actually be in the hides because that's where they, they tend to do it. Exactly. Like, they, they sleep all day. Like, they sleep all day. They don't do anything at night unless they're hungry or they're having massive farts. Like, it's just, it's very random. Malarthy, are you a ball python? I'm just curious. Oh, my pterodactyl is up. Krona, thank you. Thank you for posting on the, uh, on the animal chat. I appreciate it. I don't know. I might be able to. I might be able to prove it. I'm going to shut the door. Give him a little bit more time to settle down because he has not been asleep long enough. It's like this. It, it's not a shrieking anymore. It's more of a bark. Before it was like this frantic crying and now it's it's a legitimate bark in the mornings. He will start off with very soft barking, but like like woofing, like woof, trying to get attention and if I don't catch him in time then it's it's like the barking that I'm hearing right now. Kiss is finally coming out for the night. Hopefully, Calliope too. It's way night. Yes, I, um, I got the new. Um, I had to change out my scale because the the one that I had before, I've changed the batteries out in it. It's just it's a shitty scale. So the new one that I got, it has like a a metal bowl that you can set on top, which is perfect because it it's it's ball python size. So I can I can put a full python in there and weigh them. Um, like it, it's it's not terrible. Like I I wish it were a little bit bigger. Like maybe like um, what Lori Torini uses. Like she uses that baby scale. Oh no! Yeah, I'll send it to you. Like give me a second. I'll uh, I'll find the link. But yeah, like it's. I was I was finally able to actually get an accurate reading on Faye because of it the other scale it was something wrong with the feet so lori on her videos she please forgive the snake chat for a bit um people talk amongst yourselves um on lori's videos what she's done is she's created a perch on top of her baby scale and then it's been teared out so the the perch is already factored in and then when she trains the snakes to come over onto the perch one of their commands is they have to hold still when they're completely on the perch on the baby scale. And the reason she's trained them is so she can get accurate ways. And then when she gets the accurate way, she gives them the food, they coil up, and then she manually moves them back into their tank. Where is it? Yeah. P.S. This this will interest nobody. Um, for for reasons we don't need to go into, 
I bought a um, a very small container of copper flakes. We'll just say for craft. Um, I was expecting this tiny little jar, and instead they sent me this big jar, and it partially exploded in shipment. So part of my counter has like gold flakes on it. I have to like clean it off. I wasn't. I, I don't know. Like I, I, I don't have time to clean right now. I have a child. Um. There you go. K two. That scale. It's pretty bitchin'. I do. I do want to like look up like a good baby scale. I know that this scale. It, it's the bowl detaches. Like it's literally just a bowl that sits on there. It doesn't. It doesn't even like connect in any way. It just sits on there. Um, it will work fine for literally everybody. Um, Huxy could probably go up to a baby scale, but I think I'll wait until, um, probably until we move when I'm able to implement like a better training, um, regimen for the new babies. Because the goal is to get them trained to come out on command to, um, signal them to eat and uh, get them comfortable in the bath. So we have a, a few different things we got to work on first. Like for the good ones. And I'm not even sure how, eh. at least a bowl can kind of contain a, a wiggly ball python. At least a little bit. Even with Huxley, um, you have to coil him the right way on your hand and then just like, like kind of just like I'm miming like, like just like, like you move him into the bowl quickly while he's coiled up. I'm not sure if he would sit still on a baby scale. Seems to be about average price. Eh. That would, that would be convenient. <laughs> to have a dog scale. RNG, thank you for joining us. Thank you. And Krona, don't you think that I forgot about your, your little remark about how snakes also change their scales? It's very clever. Yeah, right now I'm able to use my, my smart scale with with the loaf um because he can he can like fits on it and he'll get an official weigh in on his vet visit on the 22nd which reminds me i need to make a note that i have to remind them that he needs um he does need to be chipped although i'm i'm sure his loaf's vet will be teddy's vet um, I'm sure she will think of that, but I want to make sure. I once had to weigh, um, Zoe by standing on the scale and holding her. And then, like, fucking subtracting shit. But she was around 50 pounds at the time. For real, like, I I think she'll be happy. And she's, she's really good at reptiles. She's amazing at ball pythons. And she's also supposedly super good at bigger breed dogs. The only reason we went with a different vet um, was because that vet was supposedly um, uh, proficient at... Staffishers, and it has been revealed that she is not. Or maybe she is, and I don't know. She's just like, so like, hey man, whatever, it's cool, dude, whatever. Um, but Teddy's vet, like, she proved, like, above it, like, I would trust that woman with my life. Like, I would trust that woman with your life. She's super good, and she's super caring, and she went above and beyond. Eh. 
I I would like to. I don't think I'm going to be able to get Zoe back into a vet before we move, unless I'm able to get her into pup uh, into a dog classes, or at least like a one on one with someone to train her and get her comfortable enough to go into a vet, because that's like a whole process. Um, but yeah, like like if. I would like us to move by August. Like that, honestly, I, I wish we could move today into like, like the perfect house. And I know that, you know, wishful thinking, blah, 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 whatever. Um, I kind of don't want Zoe to see another vet until we move. Because I know once we do move to a different state, she'll need to get registered and she does need to get updated on rabies shots and all that. <laughs> Dude, if you have if you have the ocean right there, then I absolutely would. <laughs> Some of the houses, like, I, so I'm in all of those like beautiful home groups, like old, like like old house. What are they called? Let me look. So there's one that's called like weird, weird homes that just need to be shared. Then there's. For the love of old houses, that's it. And it's literally just um, really beautiful, quirky sort of home listings from around the country. Sometimes around the world. It's mostly for America, though. Um, and some of the houses they have come up for your neck of the woods, like old Victorian, beautiful houses with like... I would say like sometimes the only bad part is like some of them are just situated on just like a little a little crook of land. So, but like if nothing else, I'm able I've been able to compile this huge folder of inspiration for whenever we are able to not only buy a home, but one day actually have a home built and like taking our time and like like making sure that we actually get what we want slash what I want because I'm the important one. He is too, I guess. For real. Like the real estate in Texas was very tempting. And so I kind of agreed to like look at Austin for an option. But it's it's like beautiful homes and and like good size lots of land like super fucking expensive if you're within city or even county limits, um, and then you have like the state politics to deal with. So I'm just kind of I'm just fucking over it. <laughs> so I'm I'm just doing my best looking for places in West Oregon and Western Washington just to see what I can find. That that's actually available since the the eviction moratorium is up. So there's like just a, a rental shortage everywhere. We we wouldn't be able to buy a home unless we were able to become extremely profitable on the stream and it would have to be for easily at least a year consistently for a bank to approve us which i'm not happy about but you know it is what it is that sound familiar? New Braunfels? No, oh, because I'm thinking of Texas. I was like, New Braunfels? Why is she mentioning New Braunfels? Ignore me, I'm tired. Fucking Texas. Like, if... If they had not just passed the bullshit that they just passed... Texas would still be on my list. 
And now it's like absolutely off the list, 3,000%. No. Are you are you talking about Colleen? K I L L E E N. There's also um, not a lot of people are into it, but if you look out towards Long uh, Longview, like whenever you're taking, what is that? That is it twenty that goes from. I think it's 20 that goes from Dallas to um, through the top of uh, Louisiana. Longview, it ha it's kind of, you know, it's a smaller town, but they have more of the, the Victorian older homes that are just super beautiful. And I'm not sure if this is still the case, but like when I moved back to Texas, from California the first time, like about 10 years ago, I I was randomly looking at, at areas to move to. And in the, the middle section of Louisiana and Mississippi, there were like a crap ton of plantation homes for sale, like with like acres and acres and acres of land. House of Kentai, hi! Thank you for joining us. Queeb should be jumping on, like, imminently. House of Kentai! I don't know if that's your theme song, but we're just gonna roll with it. I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. I would never... I would never. I didn't mess up your name. Did I? Or did Queeb? Um, not too bad. Uh, we were having a pretty riveting conversation earlier about uh, stocks and uh, uh, financial planning, et cetera, so on. And now we're just having a super chill conversation about um, areas to move to. My best friend and business partner is hanging out and chat with us, helping me entertain you guys while we waited for Queeb to get back from his doctor's appointment. So yeah, this is like super cool, super chill, super whatever, man. It's cool. I have had three, four of the Mellow Cream Pumpkins. I don't think that's enough to tell, but I... <laughs> They they might still be bad. I think I need to I need to taste test some more just to make sure. But yeah, I, I think I think they're okay. But I do want to clarify. I want to make sure. You know how it is. Only four, yeah, because I've been <laughs> I've been eating on stream. Where? Is the um, is it Bee Creek, the Bee Creek area? There are, I know that I know that's an expensive area, and the homes are a little newer. Um, there's actually a home out there that I really, I was really interested in. Um, and then I learned it was five million dollars. Yay! K2, is your message to me, is that for year-round or just in June? Oh, by the way, he gave me, um, the person I was telling you about is my G-man. He gave me the preliminary, like, like the, the draft image for his, um, uh, for his design for Loaf, and it's so fucking stupidly cute, and I love it. It is so ugly, it's cute. <laughs> I'll send it to you. <laughs> we need a community game night. 
We do need one. The fucking loaf gift, man. Let's say save. Um, I guess let's say loaf design 001. And then let's go back to K2's chat. And there's K2. I didn't even get alerted to your messages about the video I sent. I sent her a, a video uh, from TikTok about a guy talking about how he didn't know that it costs money to give birth in this country. And someone had chimed in and she's like, yeah, like, uh, for me to have a baby, it costs like $27,000. And for my baby to be born, I had to pay $26,000. And he's like, that, that's the same thing. That's the same English. They're the same words. They mean the same things. Like, no, not in healthcare. Okay. K2, that design, I just sent it to you through messenger. Melon popsicle. Thank you so much. That is so cool of you. Four months? Like, that is amazing. Thank you. Seriously. Need to come up with the community Star Trek night where we tie the man and force him to sit there all day. I... Funny story. So last year when I... I Okay, I tried to watch DS9 when it first came out, and I was just... I was too young, and it was too dark. I couldn't do it. I, I couldn't. Um, and so like TNG was like my thing. And then last year I, <laughs> my goal was to watch all the Star Trek episodes. Here's how it went. I watched three episodes of the original series and I'm like, I can just give this a pass. It was it wasn't even it I wasn't even born then. It's fine. It's fine. I'll give it a pass. So then I started watching TNG. I got through like six episodes. I'm not really into it. But you know what? I've seen it before. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'll move on to something else. So technically. Voyager overlaps with the end of TNG and the beginning of DS9. Like, Whoa, spoilers. Stop! It kind of overlaps. So I decided to go with Voyager next. And I got through like four episodes. And I'm like, eh. Maybe, may, maybe I just need to skip ahead to when they get rid of Kess and they bring on Seven. So I yeah, skipped ahead to... <laughs> That's the only person he knows. And so I skipped ahead to five, season five, and it was just, ugh. Ugh. Like. Season five, alright. <laughs> did you fucking hear the shit I deal with? And it was just like, like a blatant sex, like, let, let's blatantly sexualize the, this woman who was kidnapped as a child and has not been around humans to be sexualized. Human. Human. And, um, yeah, let's just sexualize her and all this shit. And I was like, maybe I should go to something else. And I originally, like, my next thing was going to be a DS9. I'm like, nah, that, that's too dark. It's too dark. Let me, let me, like, I don't know. Let me try Enterprise. I've never seen that before. What the literal fuck? Like, I literally watched Voyage. And I said, wow, they're sexualizing this woman like way too much. Oh my God. I should try to watch Enterprise because it's just like, like go go boots and a guy having a complete heart on in the very first like shower scene during the very first episode and, and he's getting oiled up and all this shit. This is awful. I got through. Two and a half to three seasons, and I gave up. I'm like, I, I cannot. It do, this does not exist to me, especially the special episode <laughs> written, directed, <laughs> produced, and starred. Sorry, Scott Bakula, <laughs> where he's just 
<laughs> Fuck, I'm losing it. Like the only thing that I have in, in my head from that episode is is to Paul just like falling with her tits on his face. And it's like Of course you fucking wrote this guy. Of course you did. So then I just said, okay. I'm, I'm uh, Let me go back. Let me try DS9. Let me actually give it a valid chance. And it is far and away my favorite series ever. It's so good. It's so good. Even Daddy Ducat, even Daddy Odo. Like what? Like what? May maybe kind of Miles. What? Yes. Like it. it it's like. I am down. Am I down for um, the uh, the shitty parenting that Worf did? Like they gave him a kid <laughs> to the next generation. They're so, like, "You have a kid." And he's like, "Cool, thanks. Go live with my parents now." Okay. And then they took his kids, and then suddenly his kid is like. A teenager and he's on a Klingon ship but he's like my dad's not a real Klingon fuck you you're not even a real Klingon you little shit like and he's still like like fucking Martok who's a better dad than Worf and he's like missing an eye right like he's he's, Worf is absolutely not doing his best sir <laughs> It, it has been proven multiple times that Worf is not. No, oh, I have this. I have this child now. Um, mom, can you take care of it? Like, like he's <laughs> like that's that's true. Like he is my favorite character. That being said, he is a pile of flaming shit. Like I, I get it, I get it. But then, like, there's the whole redemption thing. Thank you, Quebus. Thank you. Thank you. Then there's like the whole redemption thing where he actually gets his own house. Sorry to spoil like a 25 year old series for you guys. You'll get over it. And so, like the the redemption arc, that was cool. I liked that. But like, just eliminate the whole storyline with with Alexander. Like, there is no Alexander. There is no Alexander. It's like, like, ugh, I'm okay. I'm okay. Like, Cork was a better Klingon husband than, than Worf was a Klingon father. Like, let, let's just, let, let's, let's just get it out there. I don't know when this turned into Ms. Quee Brant about Star Trek, but this is where we're at now. So I'm so sorry. <laughs> you get to. <you. laughs> Thank you. Odo would have, he would have learned, like, he would have started off, like, being very awkward, but the, 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 little, the little changeling dude, the little changeling dude, he had a little baby, and he was a good little, he was a good father to the little baby. He was a good father. So Odo would have made it work. Even Quark is, like, a better uncle. He's a better uncle. <laughs> that than <gasps> Oh! You have your baby! I love Atticus. He's so cute. Like, I love his face. My G-Man, yeah. I was so super sad. Like, they... I want to say there's, like, a memorial post in the Star Trek shitposting group on Facebook. Like, it was, like, super sad. Yeah, oh, I see it. Oh, I see it. Yeah, who got that for you? Which wife bought it for you? This one? It was this one that bought it, right? Yeah, which wife bought it for you? This one? Did this wife buy it? Probably. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the fucking hand modeling is on point. What are you going to do? F put the fucking peanuts in the Red Bull? Is that where we're at now? 
Is that the chaos marker that we have descended to? Ladies and gentlemen, it's very nice to be back. Thank you so much for waiting. <laughs> I, I apologize that the uh, Go on. current Finish. programming hasn't been you as mean, calm. You mean, as, do you mean uh, the programming that you told me to do? I was like, oh my God, McQueeb. I, McQueeb? Miss Queeb, I got to go to the appointment. And you'd be like, um, sure, fine, whatever. Anyway, it's good to be back. You so interestingly, Pro Nublet, I this is the uh, the what they call it's like a truffle almost. That the center is actually no this this is a regular just white chocolate. Oh, that's good. That makes me be that makes me even happier. Um, but that's my dinner tonight. So. Bear with me. I got to. Uh, I got to deal with a few things real quick. Um, one is catch up on Discord. Just hopefully I haven't missed anything there. Oh, There's she posted a picture pictures on of cats. Holy shit! And she posted a. Where did you? K two. Where did you post it in Discord? You're coming through louder than normal today. Well, I'll be quiet. Where is the picture of Alex? I don't see it. No, we got Lenny the goat and Krona. Mm -hmm. And then Ken Ken posted a giant boa. Oh, she said it rejected. Okay. Wow. Not even Discord wants your picture. That's a bit rough you need to stop hey, being k stop it. i know two, that you're having a time but be nice k2 gentle hung out gentle. with me this morning yes she um, did while she... She, while you were asleep so mm -hmm. don't even get me started she's wonderful oh, wonderful I'm... human she's my friend now by the way she can be your friend it's okay like i i i trust her she upgraded trust... her her prime sub to uh a regular sub that's very nice of her. Very nice. I, I can trust you with my friend. I know you'll be nice to my friend. And if you're mean to her, I'll fucking cut you. So be nice. Yes, I'm I'm known for being mean to people. That's that's one of my uh character flaws, oh. I guess. Sorry guys. Post. Oh I love him so much. He's perfect. Okay, that picture crush, crushes me for a number of reasons, the, not the he's, least of which is his face, because it reminds me of super, a certain someone. Is it a super cinnamon pewter? K2? Is that, like, I know he's like a super cinnamon something. Is it super cinnamon pewter? Or... Uh, <clears throat> All right, I've got to change my password. Sorry, folks. Excuse me one second. This is uh, this is very private stuff. Hang on. Absolute Horizon, thank you very much for acknowledging my scariness. I appreciate it. Uh, paradox. That or um, the fire was the, what I was thinking of. Yeah, so Super Cinnamon Fire Paradox. He's so cute. I love him so much. Someone came up in one of my my groups in the last couple of days and they have a their super cinnamon laid eggs and it's like a dark 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 purple and i'm like nope i i have lived i have lived my super cinnamon uh fantasies i will i will probably never again get another super cinnamon i am absolutely uh mcmean and i'm okay with that if you hurt Jella, she will kill you. I told I told my doctor that uh, I cried more about my snake than I did about my dad. Do you have any insight other than what we've talked about? He empathized and uh, said that that's that's normal. We all deal with grief in a in a different sort of way. Mm -hmm. uh, 
Miss Queeby, you need to threaten to cut with the edge of a toothpaste tube. I absolutely would. I absolutely would. Milkshake that's, marsupial. That's boring. That's a quick way out. No, like the blunt end of a like a, a, a stick of butter. Death by 10 million cuts. I think yes. they call that. K2 is so super sweet because she she deliberately like she we send pictures of our of our our snake children and our dog children to each other and she after Teddy died she delib like she told me like hey just to let you know I haven't been sending you pictures of Atticus because I because of what happened I don't want to trigger you like what a fucking cool ass fucking friend I have. I hope you're all fucking jealous because she is amazing. And she uh, loves sorry, me and who, I love her. Whose friend? Well, she's my friend. I will share her with you. You may you may be her friend too. I think the term is commandeered, but that's what's happened. Wow. Fuck you, bro. Fuck you. The the woman that I, that we both follow, maybe you still follow her on um, on Instagram, K2. The woman who also got um, Teddy and Tally's um, sister, where she she like shows the 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 ball pythons in a similar background constantly. Um, it's been weird. I haven't been triggered by her photos of of Teddy's kid at all. Or Teddy's sibling at all. Like, it hasn't triggered me. And most, if not all of the photos of him that you have showed me have not triggered me. I still cry over him. Like, I, I absolutely cry over him. Um, like, I mourn him constantly. But the photos, like... Like his own photos and his own videos trigger me, but I don't pick up anything of that from uh, from you or from the the other woman. Never cry when relatives die, but I cry if a jar of pickles is on the floor and it breaks. <laughs> I've been crying over like like the loss of potential and like like anger over stuff that. Like, why did this person behave that way? But, like, over their actual death, I'm like, mm, no, like, whatever. K2, thank you. Best friend, 13 out of 10. Like, that's that's it. That This is what a real friend is supposed to be. And it literally took me until almost 42 to, like, get this. Oh, he is going off, but he can just wait for a little bit longer. Everything is going out. Milkshake marsupial. That's where a little milkshake is born inside the physical body of a larger milkshake. And it stays in the little pouch. It's yes. got a little pouch in the front. Exactly, exactly. I just I just mimed having a little pouch on, on my belly. Like it's it's in a little belly. <laughs> uh, I, so whatever I get from Chipotle, my latest thing has been I also get an additional side of fajita vegetables because they're so good. So I would say Chipotle with an extra side of veggies. Um, I'm going to send you a messenger message in a minute, just a message that I have to remind you of. Um, I, I am asking a request. Okay. I won't do the thing that you do. Okay, 2 PS, I did just get your message about, um, well, the last message that you sent me. I will respond momentarily. The vegetables at Chipotle, they're only a dollar. Like if you buy a, if you get a side of fajita vegetables, they're only a buck. And they're just so amazing and so good. If the Chipotle over here was easier to to get to and park and, and like actually go in, I I would I would be going every day to get a dollar's worth of fajita vegetables because they're so good. And I would be that person. They'd be like, "Oh my god, 
the vegetable girl is back. They're they're really good with your vegetables, though. They they are fin like I have my order down to a fucking T. It has now been four and a half, almost five years, and I have not changed my order at all. My order will probably never change. It's so it's so good. It's perfect. The only thing that could make it better is if um, what was that one place we used to. El Cartel. Oh yeah, that was good. The 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 barbecue pork that they had. There was a brief. So that was across the the corner. It was Caddy Corner from Chipotle, and so we would go to Chipotle, and I would get my order, and then go to this phenomenal taco place called El Cartel, and I would get a side of the pork and mix it in, and it was. So good. So, like, oh my god, it's so good. El Cartel, no. <laughs> no. Is that where you get drugs? Well, the, uh, the, the. Well, the drug in question is. Pulled pork yes. barbecue is kind of, uh, mm -hmm. kind of like that. Uh, to quote Ms. Queeb, it's kind of like crack. Not that I or her would know. Um, to me what that means or or is like at, at all in any way whatsoever i i just got reminded of this memory of for obvious reasons i didn't have many friends growing up but like when i was like i lived i lived in keller which means that's between second and fourth grade so it was probably like second or third grade when it happened I never had people over for obvious reasons. Hi, family is a, a shit show. And one of my friends, she wanted to come over. And her mom asked my mom if she could bring candy for for us and for my, my younger brother. And my, my mother agreed for whatever reason. So she brought pixie sticks. And I have this memory of her being in my room tearing open three pixie sticks mind you second grade so we're like what eight tearing open three pixie sticks and i know because she dramatically counted them out ripped them open and poured them down her mouth at the same time and after she swallowed she said i do cocaine and i didn't know what that was but at least i had the decency to say no you don't because it was just so fucking just dramatic. No, these are drugs. You, you, no, it's not. It's candy. No, it's drugs. And, you know, like little kids are supposed to pretend. And it just, it didn't sink in. And maybe she was just pretending. Or, I don't know, maybe they were cocaine to her. Who knows? Well, sugar is, um, apparently A triggers sugar. the same response or, yes, or stronger does. than, uh... It it does those drugs yeah not i'm not again i'm not familiar with any this, this is what people tell us it's just what people tell us my mom was like come on. come down and tell yell at me and friends wherever super cool i'm definitely not hashtag damaged because of all that reminds me of middle school where we dared this kid <laughs> stop y'all stop you're not that mean <laughs> Okay. Seven Cinnabons in two... Seven... Wait, it wasn't seven Cinnabons in two days. It was seven Cinnabons? Anime Daddy? Did you did you do that? Wait, anime's here. He's 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 talking about... What's up, brother? He, yeah, I, someone... As soon as you said Cinnabons, I thought that can only be one of two people. <laughs> the, o the other one is me, so... <laughs> What's up, brother? Did you make the remix yet, anime? I need to know. I 
tagged him on a remix of Castaways. Oh, right on. Like it, it's fucking baller, and he's like, "I gotta make one now." Nice to meet another Kellerite. Nice! Very nice. I went to, like, here's how old I am. I went to the original Keller Elementary. The one that was on, was it? Was it Den Highway? It was before they moved it, and now they, they turned the old elementary school into, like, their, what is it? They're, like, like, it, like it's a, it's a, it's a, a school district building now. Like, I went to that one. Not bad. Not bad at all. Had a couple of teachers there that were actually pretty cool. K2, if, he's, he's if, so big. If I can't find a message from someone on Discord, is it possible they've removed me as a friend? Is it possible they could have deleted the message? It wouldn't delete it on my end. It's my understanding that you're still able to see all of your... Right. This is a weird one, actually. Uh, I don't... I could have accidentally deleted it, so let's assume positive intent, but I mm -hmm. was actually talking to him about... business stuff, but it's not here. Who were you talking to about business stuff? Uh, I don't want to get into it. Oh, you're you're not referring to chat. You're doing something else. Okay, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, sorry, I was confused. Anime Daddy says I have not made a remix. I gotta open up Garage Band, find out the core program. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that song just tickles me so much. Like it's just so perfect. And that it's kind of like the unofficial loaf song. <laughs> I don't know why it just is. Jesus, I cannot believe Atticus is like almost 300 grams. Speaking of, I need to shut down the lights on my tanks. So my grouchy babies can wake up. I think. I don't think Faye got triggered enough to go into shed, which kind of pisses me off, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We will make do. Is there a way to remix it with Soldier Boy? Like specifically Superman? Just a yes or no will suffice to satisfy my curiosity, please. Magisto, hi, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Hello, Magisto, how you doing, man? Uh, that, that's, Perplexing. What? That doesn't make any sense. G Man, does it specifically say Murica? I'm just curious, does it? K2, are all of yours like underweight or. Well, not underweight, but like. Are, have they been slow to eat in general? Like, even Huxley has slowed down. Like, at one point, he was 5'11", and then he had four big meal or, or two big meals with, with two rats each, and then he didn't eat for three weeks, and he dropped down to, like, 480. So I'm like, great. Thanks, kid. Thanks. Yeah, 
You have to specifically remove a message to make it disappear and there's no remaining evidence of it. I must have done it by mistake. I don't know how. That's a pretty big problem, actually. <laughs> Do all of yours stick with seven days? Like, like, have they been stuck with seven days? I've been feeding Huxy every five days. When he would eat, like when he's not in the middle of a shed. Like this last shed just kind of took everything out of him. Like it was a pretty big shed, but he's also like his coloring has changed dramatically. Just a big black and gray flag of Murica. Cool. Arthi, I read that asleep tacos and I'm like, have I been missing out this whole time? Is that why I've been dealing with insomnia? Because I haven't been having the sleep tacos? So I was over five days, over seven, two. Lucian! Lucian's my favorite. I'm sorry. He is. Lucian, for chat, Lucian looks exactly like Faye. But he doesn't. Like, he, he has his own face. It's very weird. Like, they're both... Um, they're both blue-eyed leucistics, and we've actually talked about potentially breeding them one day um, just to see what we would get. But quite honestly, I think Faye would try to eat him. In a few weeks, probably, whereas eating was wonky, but Effie and Addie, every seven days, like clockwork, no issues. I think Faye is just... She's just going to be that kid, you know? Like... You know, like the kid at school with the peanut allergy who's like gluten intolerant. And this was like back in the 80s. He was gluten intolerant. So it was like a big deal and carries around an asthma inhaler. And she's just so weird about food. That kid from, uh, oh God, what's that movie? He's got curly hair. Um, not, not, it's like wavy hair. Oh God. American Pie? Did he? There was there were, no, no no no. Uh, Home Alone. The runny nose kid oh, oh, in Home yeah. Alone. <laughs> like she's just very special when it comes to food. Gotta be a way to find this person. Anime Daddy, I hear you saying yesterday by the Beatles, but is it possible that you mean Juicy by Notorious B.I.G.? I'm just curious, is that what you're talking about? <laughs> if, if there's a way for you to like make that that would probably be go over kind of big with the the tiktok crowd also if you could do castaways with um I don't know the Argu song that I posted in Discord. That's like it, it's it's so slow to catch on to TikTok, and I don't know why because it's so fucking hilarious, and I don't know if it's my fucking baby Gen X elder millennial humor that's fucking me here. The B stands for Beatles. Stop.
How is this for annoyed to run, Queeb? Short brown CD. Jesus Christ. I'm going to let him read that because I don't even understand those words. None, nothing against you, Magisto. Like, I only, I only watched like 800, 900 hours of Noida. I never played it. <laughs> so embarrassing. That's Noita um, defined, as far as I'm concerned. Have an amazing run, then all of a sudden, bam, dead. Chocolate making you feel better. Certainly is, yes. We Good. are 158 subs away mm -hmm. from playing Rain World. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but I did update the goals and I, sh I shrunk the list a little bit. The next one's a twofer. One, Alien Isolation. Which I'm still very much not looking forward to. Um, and the real... McQueeb origin story. No longer will it be a mystery. We got screenshots. We have we have screenshots. We have proof. K2, thank you so much for hanging out with me today and hanging out with Queeb earlier. I love you very much, and I will uh, I'll talk to you via messenger. Later, K. <gasps> oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Girl, you don't need to be spending your money. You're about to do a move. But thank you. It's appreciated. Another physicist. Hi. Thank you so much for joining us. Okay, two. Thank you very much, physicist. Very kind are you, for resub. Are you actually a physicist? Like you're not a student studying, but you're like an actual like physicist physicist. I I have no follow up to that. I'm just curious. Like I'm not going to try to like test you on your knowledge. Student have to spend most of my time outside of study work. That's acceptable. I will accept that. Knowledge testing is lame. Is that why it is white chocolate? It's Lind white chocolate slack. I believe it is Lind, right? Quib? Yeah, it is Lind. It is Lind. However, it's made yes. in America Lind, as far as I'm I'm aware. I'll double check. Queeb's very weird about me buying him things. Like, generally, he's like, surprise me. But I never know what to get because his tastes evolve so rapidly that it's literally a fucking, yeah, it's literally a crapshoot sometimes. So my default has been find the best white chocolate that that store has and get a couple of bars of it. That's kind of like my default. And thankfully, it's been five and a half years and and he he hasn't hated it yet. I'm the same way with my lady. Stop, Slack. Don't don't be like this man. Manufactured in the USA by Lint and Sprungli, uh, USA Inc. So it's technically technically American, uh, American but yeah. Mm. I'm sorry. Well, it's not like we have a choice here. It, it tastes different. 
Um, yeah. A founder yeah, sub, yep. Us. Going on two years. Yeah, exactly. Working a lot towards building black body radiation simulations. It's been rather fun. I don't understand a single word you said, physicist, but I'm really glad that you you have something that's fun. What do you mean you don't understand? It's not rocket science. That was a, wah, that was wah, a joke. Wah, yeah, wah. You, get, you get it. We're wearing uh, classic black uh, Old Navy V-neck today. Um, He's so fancy today. Thought I'd get dressed up for stream, you know. <laughs> yes. I'm not a fan of Ghirardelli, actually. Um, being uh, part Swiss and and having visited Switzerland a couple of times, I've I've been fortunate enough to visit um, some of the um, artisan chocolate makers uh, in Zurich, and it's there's 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 nothing like it like handmade like just a, a passion for for chocolate and it's oh my god it's like some of the best shit you'll ever have in the world a fan of brats beer and angry angry Krankenwagen. <laughs> Hey, Star. Nah, I figured either that or you, I figured you, you could possibly be like me generally and just be a lurker and just be like, yeah, what's up? There's a, there is a, um, a sausage that they do in Germany and, and Switzerland. And I'm not sure of the, the type, but it's a, a pork sausage, I want to say. It's mm -hmm. like a tender, um, very smooth blend. Vice versa, yes. Um, and it's it's it, it just it's beautiful. It's got this sort of springy um, outer layer, and you usually have it with mustard. Oh my god! Oh my god! Did go to a German restaurant owned by Russians in Albuquerque. That was fucking horrible. <laughs> Some of the most disgusting food I've ever eaten in my entire life. Oh, I had a... What did I have? Was it curry verse? It, 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 it was something like that. We Holy were... fuck. Oh, like... We were going th back from LA to Florida. This was like our first road trip. We'd only been like physically together just a couple of days. We ended up stopping in Albuquerque. Like we found there, apparently there's a hotel there that has an indoor slide, like a water park. And it was shut it was down. down. Yeah. Because obviously. And I let Queeb pick wherever he wanted to eat and he picked a German restaurant and Yes, well, I'm... how often do you see a German restaurant? Well, I'm from Texas, and parts of Texas are very German. However, I've never been to or eaten in those areas. So I'm like, yeah, like let's go for it. We went. We were the only table in this restaurant. It was dead, dead, wasn't it? It was, yeah. It was we're dead. literally the only person in there. <laughs> there, there was music playing, but it was not German music. I believe it was some kind of Russian techno pop something. I'm not lying. This, this is factual. This is like factual and documented somewhere. It has to be. And we're sitting next to each other because they have like the whole wall is like they do that fucking half booth shit. And so we both like we just decided to sit next to each other, so neither of us have to deal with the ass fuckery of sitting in a wooden chair. Right. And I've never had German food and I have a pretty infantile palate. So I just I pick like like I think like a brat and like some peppers and onions or something like, like something very, very quintessential Ms. Queeb. and whatever he picked, they bring it out. Mine's like, OK, it's it's not it's not spectacular. And he hated his. 
And I'm like, okay, well, like, send it back. Tell them that you want something else. And his reaction was, I can do that. I'm like, yeah. I mean, if you, if it's not, is it not good? And he's like, no, like, it, I've, I've been there. I've been to Germany. I've had this dish before. This tastes nothing like it. I'm like, okay, send it back. And so she came back. And uh, it was a very easy process because, you know, your food sucks, but we were nice about it. I ended up sending mine back too. Like she asked me flat out, she's like, is yours okay? I'm like, it's okay. Like, it, it's, it's fine. She's like, if you don't like it, it's okay. And I'm like, here's the thing. I've never had this dish. It's okay. It's not great. It's okay. And she's like, oh, it's fine. We'll take, we'll take it off. So they ended up taking both meals off. I think we looked at the menu to get something and we ended up getting like some kind of cake. Yeah, like a cake slice and we shared it. It was like, they, yeah, 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 that's right. We ended up, so they, they took the, the two meals off. They, um, they didn't charge us for the dessert. We ended up tipping like basically what we were going to pay for the meal. Um, but yeah, that was my first and only experience with a German restaurant. <laughs> and he was just like, he was so uh, great. Keep in mind. I was really disappointed. Keep, keep in mind up until this point, we had spent four days together in Vegas and this was now the third day of uh, a trip moving him to Florida so we could live together. So we'd only known each other about seven, seven days physically. And I've never seen him this wound, wound around the axle about something. <laughs> and he was just, you don't understand. I've been there. I've eaten this. It doesn't taste like that. I'm like, okay. Whatever it was, I can't, can't remember the exact dish, but it was foul. Like, <laughs> my disappointment is immeasurable <laughs> and my day is ruined. <laughs> and I think after that, we ended up going to like, like McDonald's or something, but it was fine because we were in a hotel with a water slide, obviously. <laughs> that was shut down, that we couldn't visit. Yeah. Learn mo most people hate American chocolate because it's partially spoiled due to the high amount of lactic acid. Never knew no better to offer it to foreigners now. Malganis says be sure to eat Wait, schnitzel. Somebody sent me yes. a reasoning for the chocolate difference in the States. Let me see if I can find it. Okay. Germans aren't uh, exactly known for their fine dining. If you ever find yourself in Michigan, Queeb, you need to check out the city Frankenmuth. Frankenmuth? Tell me why, Magisto. The reason I say that is because I have friends up there, so I want to, like, I need to know if this is worthy of a trip. Like, is it going to, like, blow my mind? So here we go. Um, some of Hershey's products contain milk for years and that passionate chocolate aficionados are fighting i don't know this is poorly written uh products such as whatchamacallit milk duds mr good bar and crackle no longer have milk chocolate coatings and hershey's kissables are now labeled as chocolate candy instead of milk chocolate what's going on on today uh, sorry, on Friday, Today Consumer Correspondent Janice Lieberman reported that Hershey's has switched to less expensive ingredients in several of its products. In particular, cocoa butter, the uh, ingredient famous for giving chocolate its creamy melt-in-your-mouth mouth texture, has been replaced with vegetable oil. The removal of cocoa butter violates the U.S. Food and Drug Administration's definition of milk chocolate, so subtle changes have appeared on the labels of Hershey's products with altered recipes. Products once labeled milk chocolate now say chocolate candy, made with chocolate or chocolatey. Some say the label changes are too difficult to spot. A lot of people don't notice it. The package looks exactly the same. Uh, I feel betrayed by Hershey's, said one uh, candy blog. They're giving me an inferior product and they're not even telling me. I call it Mocklet, which is basically a fake chocolate product. Um, in a statement, Hershey's Jesus. said, 
Um, the consumers love its products and all its candies are clearly labeled. It still offers milk chocolate in Hershey's Kisses, Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, and its classic chocolate bar. And recently it put back the milk chocolate in Almond Joy because consumers complained. Experts say that while many manufacturers cope with higher costs by increasing their prices or reducing their product sizes, Hershey's change was meant to be less noticeable to consumers. Well, it was obviously Hershey's is, is, is F tier, in my opinion. It is. It is uh, it's really bad. Magisto, when you were first talking, you had my curiosity, but then you mentioned large Christmas store, and now you have my attention, sir. Or ma'am. Or they. Like, that's all, that, baby, that's all you had to say, was that there was a Christmas store. The only thing better than a Christmas store is a Halloween store, honey. Let's not start about Nestle. I'm telling you What's right now. What's going on now, with Nestle? Don't, do not, don't engage him in this discussion about chocolate. Like, like this, this is one of his, his things. Like he'll randomly go off if we're at a store together and we're by the chocolate and he talks about how shitty American chocolate is and how our chocolate will never, ever, ever compare to the chocolate that he's had overseas. Every time. Even Cadbury here <laughs> versus Cadbury Australia and Cadbury UK it's not even on the same fucking plane, dude. Like, you can taste the difference. Uh, Magisto, uh, I just want to tell you, if I go visit this store, and this store is as magical as you say, I'm going to name a snake after you. I might even name two snakes after you. Um, excuse me. You don't have two snakes to name unless you want to rename Huxley. I didn't think so. You mean rename Huxley from the name that you named him when you hijacked me naming him? Is that what you mean? Because he had a name. He had several names. And then you came in, swooped in like motherfucking Australian Grease Lightning. We're going to name him Huxley. Like, why would you name him Huxley? I struggle to say that word. You say it just fine. It's Trader Joe's the has author. released their own version of Tim Tams. I'd have to try them. We have a Trader Joe's near us. I love Trader. I could spend a fucking fortune in that store. And every single item you buy is... Is this a new game? Yes, it is. Yeah. Um, it's really cool, actually. How do I explain it? Somebody said it yesterday. XCOM meets, uh, they are billions, but it's a roguelite. Oh yeah, I have to create a new scene for this one because somebody complained that it, uh, my little goal thing, my goal meter was overlaying. So the photos of this store, it's like, I hate traveling. I want you to know that I hate it. Like normally I, I would be fine with it. However, Americans, etc., um, which goes against my Sagittarian roots. Like I just kind of deal with it. Don't um, forget that you're an Aries rise rising. Nope. Maybe that was your first wife, but it's not your second. Try again. Well, I don't know, babe. It's not my area of expertise. All you know is that you're a Taurus sun and your fucking kid is a Taurus moon. Y'all deserve each other. But what I was trying to get at is this store looks incredible. I'm not, I'm not even like a regular Christmas per. I'm more of like a vintage Christmas person, but even just to go in this place and just look, this looks magical. So 
So um, thank you. I'll be adding it to my list. Hopefully, maybe one day I can go. Like it, it I would never go. Like like during the actual holidays. Let's be real here. But um, it it looks fucking amazing. So thank you. Okay. Okay, well, while you go do that, I am, um, I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go. It's been a few hours. My ears are killing me. I'm gonna go take care of your child. All right, my love. Um, I hope, uh, everyone has a fantastic evening enjoying the last spell, and I will see you tomorrow around four-ish on, uh, on the pregame. Okay. We'll see okay. you then. Bye. Bye. All right, so how can I explain this game? It is a uh, turn-based strategy. Um, and a lot of the... It, there's there's so many unlockables outside of... Um, outside of each run. Each So far, each run's lasting me probably about two hours. Um, two, to, two to three hours, I would say, on average. And it's very difficult, or at least it is to begin with. So we'll see, um, we'll see where we end up. All right, so I'm just going to start a run. I'll kind of explain as we go what, uh, what's going on here. So you get given, uh, several characters. Uh, we have a Isaac. Looks like a mage of some description. I haven't actually used this type of mage, so that'll be interesting. Um, we have Augustus, who is a warrior class. And then we have uh, Gale, who is an archer. Um, the skills are tied to the weapon set that you have. You can carry two weapon sets, and you're not restricted by class. Um, so, for example, if I wanted to give our ranger here um, a, a, a magical item or a sword, easily done. Each of the different skills cost uh, turn or action points. You get a certain number of action points. We've upgraded a few times the number of action points that you start with. So we start with six on each character, which is pretty damn good. Um, you start with three or four before you start putting points into those upgrades. Um, you'll notice some pink arrows down here. That means that uh, we're going to be getting attacked from this direction. So it does give you some sort of indication. At wave three and onwards, or, or night three rather, um, you'll be attacked from two directions. And I'm sure that just gets worse and worse as we continue. So this shouldn't be too difficult at all. To start with. Um, I'm excited to try out this mage. I haven't seen this. So shocking touch. Targets four. In what fashion? Oh we can't check that yet. Uh, magic bash. Ignores 50% of the target's resistance. And we can use that three times per turn. This one we can use three times per turn as well. This one costs two action points, interestingly enough. And at, at that damage, targeting four, that makes a lot of sense, actually. Unfortunately, it is melee range only, which is um, kind of an in interesting... So he's kind of like a hybrid uh, melee person, melee magic user. Kind of weird. Um, so then you'll see this, the cost of each spell up the top so this one costs two action points this one costs one uh we have three uses of this and we have three uses of this and then we have uh hammer of faith which we have two uses of this one costs action points and uh mana mana is a limited resource so down here you'll see your resources we have six action points we have eight move points um eight is Pretty good to start with, I think. And 22 mana. 
the mana is not fully uh, refilled at the end of every night. You get a little bit back based on your recharge and you can level that. We'll get to that later. Um, but we're going to move everyone in into range here into position. Um, you'll notice like this purple mist, this advances. So it's probably going to move forward a little bit and then the enemies will appear from that. You don't know how, en how many enemies are coming, but it's usually a shitload. Um, there's a bar up here that fills up as you progress through the night. As you kill more and more enemies, that's the only way to progress through the night. Uh, you don't even know how many are remaining until like they're all on the field. How does time advance? I'll show you. Um, so this is your this is your progression here, right? For the night. Um, so at the moment we're already a third of the way through, probably because the number of enemies is quite low on the first stage. Then you've got a couple of other things as well. This here is city panic. When enemies get within the city limits, which are denoted by the walls here, um, you'll see a little pink explanation mark on their head. If you end a turn with them inside the city, um, shit goes bad very, very quickly. And this meter will start to build up. Now, keeping this meter low is extremely important, especially early on, because uh, you will be able to... Um, get more rewards by keeping this low down here um, we'll get one two three four rewards or, or four levels four tiers of rewards and the fourth one um, includes an item that you get and you can choose from three and it's they're usually pretty good this also increases as uh, buildings are destroyed as well so it's it, it, it starts simple but it gets really really tough now the ultimate goal is to protect this little center area right here. This is your magic circle. Um, these are mages. What mages are doing are trying to put a barrier on all magic. So it takes them many, many turns. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve stages essentially, because you only get plus one. Now this may change, but at the moment, um, it's it's plus one per round and the amount of health the magic circle has is um kind of represented by the number of mages around so i've upgraded this once and it's given me an extra mage which is an extra 50 health not that this matters too much if enemies make it in here you're not going to last long if you can't get rid of them um and the enemies also get tougher as you progress as well music incredible um it needs a little bit of tweaking. There's a few things, especially with the UX and UI, that don't quite make a lot of sense. Um, and, and some of the clicking's a little bit clunky and some things should be automated and, and stuff like that. But honestly, not too many complaints. Um, it's, it's, it's very polished for an early access game. All right. So we've got two kind of individual sections. Uh, we can potentially target some of these ones that are barely visible in here. Uh, but the mist may block some spells. So AOE is actually quite effective in those situations. I don't know how I feel about this character. If he's in melee range, like... It's a bit sketch. Now the one thing that he does have going for him is the fact that he can move 20 sorry move eight so his move space is the green and you can move at any time you don't have to move first and then take an action or vice versa you can you can move a couple of squares take an action move a couple of squares take an action um but your move points will eventually run out and then you'll be stuck where you are so you got to be cognizant of that Where's my archer? Archers tend to be my favorite. They are exceptionally good. I'm um, out of range there. Let's move forward uh, one. Let's see if we can do the same thing again. One more. Yeah. 
phenomenal work. Phenomenal work. You've done great. You can also see how far the enemy is going to move. And this is extremely important. Um, so that your, your little dudes don't get damaged too much. So for example, if I ended turn now, this guy would potentially move right next to me and hit me. Um, so I, my goal is to either wound him. You don't have to kill him. If you wound them, if you clip them, you're going to reduce their movement um, uh, distance. Uh, so you'll see on the right hand side, his health is 100 out of 100, right? If we knock down that down to 66 or two thirds, um, it'll be he'll have one debuff. And I think the first debuff is movement amount. We'll see if we don't take him out straight away which we probably won't. So at the moment, my base damage is 64 to 84. I could use an empowered shot or a power shot. Um, there's a greater chance to miss with that, but early on, it doesn't matter. So let's use that. It's only going to cost me one action point, which is the same for our basic attacks. We can use this one four times. Uh, precise shot is really great for an enemy called the Dodger because it rarely misses at all there. Uh, we've also got a tight volley, which is uh, a two by three area of effect. Uh, we'll show you, I'm sure you'll see that as we continue. So this will outright kill this guy. We've also got runners as well. So runners are probably some of the weakest enemies. However, they can travel the furthest and they travel pretty quick. And I think their AI is such that they will head straight for the the town, uh, the the magic circle. So, in my opinion, you want to focus on them above all else because before you know it, two or three have run past you and then you're already in trouble. Well, let's let's clip this guy so I can show you the debuffs. Ah, so he suffered three debuffs here. Uh, minus two panic, which is really good if he gets into the city. Um, those panic points get reduced. Um, minus two move points, which means he can no longer get to where we were. And minus 40% damage, which means we're safer if that does actually happen. God, having so many action points is huge. Like, really, really good. Okay, and I'm going to retreat. Because I can't. Uh, this guy, I could potentially move forward. I'm going to have to figure out another build for Isaac or get him a different weapon because this is not... Uh... I don't know how I, I feel about melee is it's kind of effective but you need someone that can move a lot because to leave them out in the field it's not a great idea and then we've got Augustus with shit we got two melee characters ah well, this is a magic melee person, I guess. Can we view the character sheet? We can. Okay, so his magic stats are up. It's just that this particular weapon, a scepter, is for very short range uh, magic attacks. Uh, we want to get him out of that as soon as possible. Uh, these are traits. So he's got carrier. Which means he loses a move point, but he gets an extra bag slot. Uh, so down here is your bag slots. We can carry three consumables. Plus 4% resistance. Uh, I'm not sure. I, is that resistance for me, like a defensive? Or is it minus enemy resistance? I'm not sure. Uh, we're tall, which means we get an extra move point, but our dodge has been reduced. And then bookworm, which means we get plus three mana, minus 10 health 
Health shouldn't be a problem if we can stay out of the range of enemies, which is fine for the first couple of nights, but that will change. You'll see very quickly how much we get overrun. And he has a shield as well. Never had shields. There's our melee character. We're going to change this up. So swords are okay. Uh, most of these uh, skills are based on straight line attack or very close range attack. Um, and the, the addition with swords, most of the moves after they've been completed, after they've been resolved, uh, the, the character will advance, which means you have to, again, be very cognizant of that, what's going on. Uh, Paladin, physical damage, magic damage, and plus mana. This guy might end up being our mage, actually. We could have two mages. I'm happy with that as well. Aggressive, plus three physical. Alcoholic, minus 30 health, minus five resistances. Hey, such is life. Um, and then Gale, you've got the trader plus two bag slots. You can carry four items. Uh, we don't end up, well, I haven't ended up with a lot of items. Um, but the good thing is that she's got most other things open. Minus 10% XP gain. That sucks, actually. That's quite bad. Plus 5 resistance. Plus 10 daily health regen. And then dodge minus 10. So yeah, we've got to keep her out of harm's way and get her an experience buff later. Anyway. Do you get additional characters over time? Not going to spoil anything for you yet. But yes. So I guess we have to go out and start doing something, huh? Increase dodge on self twice. Hopefully if anyone does attack us. They'll most likely move into range. Oh, we might be safe. We'll see. So this is telling me what we have unresolved. At the moment, we can't do much else, so it's totally fine. Okay, we're good. So here we've got some runners. Again, one of my primary targets targets we've got got any armor dudes not yet so armor works much the same way as it did in um fights in tight spaces at the end of a turn it's regenerated so it's like if someone's got 10 health and 100 armor they essentially and we can't take them out they essentially have 110 health on the next turn. Pretty self-explanatory, that one. We've seen that mechanic before. House of Kentai, what's up, my dude? This music though, so good. All right, we are out of moves. Now we have a look at what is here. Oops. See the red lines. That's what. What? That's potentially where they could move to. The red squares.
No sweat, Magisto. I don't want to, again, I don't want to take them too far out. We'll, I'll probably wait for them to advance. I don't know if there's an advantage for ending on an earlier turn or not, whether the experience gained is higher or you get additional bonuses, anything like that. Two health. Okay, we're still safe. No one can come within range and we're keeping them outside for now. Directional facing have any damn effect on damage to you that i'm not sure i know that there's a skill for you being backed up into like against a barrier or something like that and you gain additional um bonuses for that um the problem is when you retreat you're facing the wrong way like this guy right i'm not sure whether hit from the back means anything at all in this You'll notice that, so this is a 2 by 3 If I'm aiming in front of me, it's horizontal. But if I aim slightly off to the left or right, it changes orientation. Um, that's a bit of a weird quirk. Oh, we completely missed that guy. But it is a runner. Take him out. Shit. What a waste. Okay, so they're coming in. They're getting close. Uh, we're gonna take some damage here. Shit, should have thought that through. Oh yeah, there's lots of missed puns. Lots of missed puns. They certainly didn't miss that opportunity. No, that. Ignore I said that. So this one here has propagation. Propagation is interesting. Um, it chains five times and there's an 85% chance that it'll jump to the next person. Um, the proper propagation effect is stun, poison, and a debuff. I don't know if it does all three or potentially one of. We'll see. I'm going to use it. So I'm going to move here. Hey, not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you stuck there? Shit. Oh, no. Oh, I fucked it. Okay, I didn't realize propagation could spread to... She's gonna die. I may restart as a result. He can recover. Enemy takes their turn first. Um, like, yes, we could get lucky, but 
I'm looking at the enemies around here. So the only other option is to run in and spread some of that damage out. This is bad. This is real bad. And that's it. That's all I got. Not dead. Soon will be. Five is not bad at all. I'll take it. Might give us an escape route. I don't believe it. Well, we're not out of the woods yet, I guess. Can I squeeze in here? Oh, no. Okay. Hold on. I can. Okay. It's a Christmas miracle. Now you're way back here. Alright, let's clean up a little bit. Still a runner there. We got three moves. See, there's no guarantee I'm going to kill this because one, you see the little skull with a question mark on it on the enemy itself. And then um, looking at the stats, you can see my final damage. So that's your base damage plus all of the effects that modify that is 64 to 84. Um, they have 70 health. So the likelihood is, is reasonable that I would take it out, uh, but not guaranteed. Um, so what I'll do is a power shot instead. Most enemies early on have a uh, very low chance to dodge. So that's done. We will absolutely finish off you and you. And that's it for me there. So this is a problem here. You're fine. Everybody's safe there. Uh, too bad, so sad. Can't do anything here. So I'm just going to increase my armor. A couple of times I can do that, just in case the other person comes in range. Where are you going? Yeah, we're going to be fine. You're clipped, so you can't go that far. Oops, just destroyed my own wall. Bit silly. And let's... Yeah, let's move up just to be on the safe side. I think everyone else can't even get to us. That was close. We got lucky there. Yeah, having two melee-like characters is very strange. So now we can see, because we've gotten to the end and everyone's on the field, we can see how many are remaining. 11 enemies.
Wow, I had, yeah, I had no idea about propagation. So punch um, is a pretty great move. You can use it unlimited number of times. It still costs an action point, but God, it's actually stronger than my magic bash. Take you out. Can we stun you though? We can. Um, so stuns are denoted with this little star or left. I think again we're pretty safe, so I might as well just retreat here if I can. Yep, we're good. Then I'm going to take everyone else out with my little ranger guy so yeah i need to buy items here um because that's that's going to be very important i need to change up these characters i i don't like melee class semper fungus what's up dude So this here is a meta currency. Um, you use that to add items to the pool, uh, to unlock new skills, um, to unlock new um, like buildings and all that sort of thing. Uh, there's also like an achievement system. So it, they borrowed a few things from you know the very common tropes in in roguelike games. And as you can see, we've earned now one pip towards uh, this here. So there you go. A prowess has been accomplished, which means uh, that's an achievement. This screen also gives you a little bit of lore. Are you Pregonte? So there we go. We've survived a night at or under level zero of City Panic ten times now. The Seer building has been unlocked with the ability to foresee glimpses of the enemy horde and repel the mist for a time. That sounds kind of dope. Like, incredibly so. And there's a bunch of other ones as well. So like, walk, walk a certain number of tiles. Um, have a hero reach... 12 in move points, etc, etc, etc. It just goes on and on and on. There's, there's many, many, many of them. Beast Hunter, what's up, dude? And then this is the other one. So this is the meta, meta progression here. I'm unlocking an additional mage. So instead of three, we'll have four, which gives my um, uh, magic circle additional health, I think. I've been drinking again. The you, yes sir, and yeah... Kind of gave that away. Um, but yeah, this is based on... You earn this stuff based on how well you perform in the game, whereas the other one is kind of... Over time, you'll get most of them. There's a few... 
that I'm going to have difficulty unlocking. One of them I can remember was have a character take 400 damage um, across uh, an entire run. And that's reset if, if, you, if the run ends, right? So you've got to do that in one go. I may have to set up a specific character just to take damage over and over again and heal him. Um, we have 788. I'm just going to keep unlocking that. That's it. All right, so we get a reward for surviving, uh, sorry, for getting max uh, rank on that one. And we get a choice here. So we have three options. Hunter Cape. Plus three range damage. A wooden crossbow. So I haven't used uh, this particular crossbow before either. Those skills look new to me. Straight shot. One target. Limit per turn three, range three to ten. Heavy bolt, range one to six, you can use that twice, and it's inaccurate, slight debuff on that one. Impaling bolt, range three to ten, so it costs mana. That's another one with four targets. Whether that's in a, a T-shape like the other one or, or a cross, I'm not sure. Or sorry, a uh, square. Explosive Bolt. Costs two action points, two mana. Targets five. That's pretty damn good. And then we've got heavy armor as well. Plus one to skill range. Plus three block, minus one move point. The great thing with the archer is you don't have to move them a lot. So that, that skill range that you see there, um, that's only on modifiable skills. So for example, you'll notice both my wooden shortbow and wooden crossbow if we decide to go that route. That little symbol next to the range, that means it's upgradable. Um, but I believe it makes it 4 to 11, not 3 to 11. So you can actually screw yourself, especially in, in, in close quarters there. Oh, one other thing to, to pay attention to. This is Fortify, whereas the other one's Evasion. Evasion lets, is chance to dodge. Fortify is actual uh, additional armor for, for the rest of the turn. Or for the enemy's turn, enemy phase. I think I'll take that. All right, we're going to level up first. So this is where things get a little bit weird. Um, because you've got two stats you have to choose from, primary and secondary. The primary stat is randomly rolled and you select one of these and you can roll it yourself if you don't like these but the problem is when you roll you get reduced to three if you roll a second time you get reduced to one and you're stuck with it um i'm gonna go experience gain for the secondary that's easy and i may actually go mana here is this my magic user eight magic damage let's have a look at Gale, that's my archer. And then this guy is going to be something else entirely. Yeah, let's go mana here. And 
hand experience gain. I'm also going to take the experience gain buff as a as a first perk. You, so you get perks available, kind of like any skill tree you've seen before, except these are uh, sort of uh, based on quantity. You have to spend X number to unlock the next rank, so forth and so on. All right, next we've got Gale. Character details level up. Range damage up to 8%. Or mana. These are all common. So it goes um, brown or copper, and then green, and then blue, and then red. I haven't seen any red attributes at all. Let's. let's mm. I'll take range damage for primary, an extra 5%, and then I'm going to roll these. Okay, so there's an additional two bounces if we had something, a skill that had propagation. We don't at the moment, so I'm not even going to bother with that. Uh, I will take 10% accuracy though. It's pretty dope. XP again. And then I don't know what I'm going to do with this guy. Let's have a look at items that are available. So I'm going to go to the shop. Is this a long range? It is longbow. I could have two archers. Minus 10% reliability. So reliability is the likelihood. Sorry, it increases your low roll stat. So if the base damage is 67 to 87, um, it would be minus 10 so i think it's reduced or I, I don't know if it can go beyond zero so reliability i'm not actually sure daily mana regen is nice spear we could do a rusty hammer and turn someone into a melee class entirely that one i haven't used yet Hmm. I got a hundred bucks. So here's a problem. I haven't. I have used a little bit of mana. I do need to build one building. That kind of sucks. Build new structures. We want. What was the new one we got? The inn. Oh, we can reduce, we can get a, a, an additional hero. Could we get 80 bucks? No, we definitely can't. This is this is always the same amount of gold after the start of each uh, after the end of the uh, the first night. So I've got to build one of these. This is a statue, and then we're going to use that to refill the mana of Gale. So the way these work, you assign workers to them, um, which means that Gale will have uh, an extra 10 mana. If we look at her, she's got 12 up to a max of 21, so that's a good spend. Ah, uh, we do need to... Shit. I didn't think of that. Augustus is in a world of hurt right now. Yeah, monies are going to be a problem. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go shop. I'm going to buy this. I'm going to give that to Gale.
Gale also gets this as well. And I'm going to give the other bow to you. Plus one move, plus ten dodge. They're identical, no need to switch them out. I'm also going to keep... Oh, I didn't give perks to you. XP as well. Um... I want a sword instead of this thing. Isaac's got to level up too. So we can give him 22 armor as a passive. That's not bad at all. Roll that. Reliability. Um, so he has a bow and arrow. Do we give him other things as well? I guess options are always good, right? So you can have two sets of weapons as well. And you can switch on the fly. You'll always have them available. If there's any passive upgrades on the items, you get all of them. At any time. Go back to the shop. What else we got? No negatives at all. Mm -mm. Two longbows. Now let's save our cash. Uh, next. So we've got uh, three workers available at the moment. Which means we can actually start to uh, demolish some of these and recover some things from them. What we want to do is recover as much materials as possible. Now getting gold is definitely um, something worth considering. But at this stage I'm not so sure. Do you know what? I'm actually tempted to buy a different weapon. For my for my quote unquote magic user. The blue shell, it's a trinket. I'll buy it. Alright. Yeah, so every every class is not stuck. You can you can switch in and out as you see fit. They've all got light armor. Dang. Yeah, they need to stay well and truly away from everybody. All right, so let's destroy materials. Now I have 154 materials. We're going to build some stuff. We are being attacked from the north. So if you can get the reinforced walls, we can build five of these. Oh, we start with some fence already. Maybe I'll just save some of my materials as well and just just do this they won't last long they have uh, 55 health 
Hey, Zealousy, thank you very much for the raid, my dude. Welcome. I haven't had my tea. I have, however, had uh, Summer Edition Red Bull Dragon Fruit flavor and some white chocolate to go with. It's the perfect pairing. Um, you've got notes of sugar, um, like an earthy high fructose corn syrup uh, touch and, and sort of uh, on, on the back part of the tongue, um, it's that real dopamine kick. It's really great. Now, when it comes to defending your town, you'll see, um, so little, these things here, they're very breakable. They have seven health each. Um, 1990s raw, pure, how do you say the word pure? Pure air? that's old enough to vote uh, these won't last long at all either and reinforced walls um, they're okay the great thing is that most of the or all of the defenses don't um, don't really stop line of sight so I could stand anywhere on this side and I'd have access you'll see where our, our targeting is I'll show you all right, let's move people up. So we've got three archers, essentially. Cool, I'll take it. It might give us some weakness, though. We'll see. Augustus. Pretty good. We'll see how we go. Emphasis on the second syllable. Q. Yeah. The hottest thing right now? So hot right now. Can you deploy beyond the walls? Certain things you can, I believe. Let's have a look. So not fences, but... Yep, these you can. So if we put a bunch of these down, it will delay advancement um, of the enemy because they'll they'll be tempted to uh, stop here and attack some enemy some enemies are programmed to avoid that stuff I think I'm good don't really need to know much else right now Okay, so this is a dodger. Very high chance to evade. Um, well, it's 5% more to evade at the moment. That increases over time. And I think they get armor later too. So we've got long shot here, which is good. We've got watch out, which is increases an attribute for a given duration. Never actually used that. Snipe shot, which is kind of amazing. However, look at the cost. Two move points, one mana, one action point. And Arctic Blast. Nine targets, though. Is that a square? It is. For 51 to 66 damage. It's, it's not a huge amount of damage, but if you need to finish off a bunch of dudes... So you'll see that if you're looking at, at where I am, this darker shaded area, which means I can't see that. That's out of line of sight. Um, and in fact, I may have to move him as well. Oh, even further. There we go. The range on these longbows is unreal.
Could use the snipe shot, huh? Yeah, go on. And that's all I got there. Oh, it increases dodge. That one. Okay, that's fine. Hello, XPL. How you doing? And this poor guy is not even going to get a hit in. Not even close with this little, his little short bow. Um, let's keep you back here for now. Playing Tarkov and raging. I've heard Tarkov is very difficult. You can undo moves as well if you don't do it. As long as you don't take an action, you're fine. Damn, he's behind a tree. Well, we'll have to take him out with somebody else then. Quite effective. Okay, so we do have here. Let's move up. So this person's accuracy is obviously not as high. We've missed several times with them. You'll notice I'm taking out the the runners first. Um, oh, I did take out a couple with snipe shot of the armored guys because it does immense damage so yeah i've uh, tarkov is one of those ones that i'm kind of like very interested in i just know my skill level's not there and i don't know if i have the patience to you know see it through so Freeze shot has a chance to stun. I think I'll just keep going with this though. Okay, that's done. How far are you coming? You're going to be coming into the walls, but we're still safe. Sixty-two to eighty. Yeah, we definitely can't kill with this. But don't forget, by wounding, you add debuffs, uh, as denoted directly above my head, and um, that lowers their range, which means that you are often safe as a result. Okay. Okay. 
And runners are definitely my priority, like I said before. Got to get rid of them. I can't even hit this guy. He's too close because he's within my uh, inner range. That's a lot of enemies. You ain't seen nothing yet, dude. 45 remaining. Psh. I do have to keep my move points into consideration here because... Um, oh, no, we're fine. We're totally okay. He didn't die. Hmm. Dodged. That sucked. Dead. And you, sir. Thirty-eight left. Hmm. I think I'll retreat for now. Actually, let's make sure that no one else can come in. This one here is moving forward. You got to keep an eye out on the edges. Um, this guy will probably head straight for this gate, try to break through, and then could get around if I'm not paying attention. So. The ones that are flickering are the dodgers. Uh, precision shots work really well on them if you if you have that skill. Yeah, I think long range is the go. Problem is we're only single targeting at the moment. We don't have a lot of AoE except for um, Arctic Blast, but that's really low damage. So we're probably going to have to mix it up and introduce another class. Good. 
30 enemies remaining almost. Wow, not even killing them. It's a bit sad. Oh, you're stuck there. Right, so this is one thing I have to pay attention to. Whenever I use snipe shot, it uses two movement points. So I'm better off locating myself first and therefore... Actually, no, I think you need the movement points to pull the move off. It's a rough one. That's all I can do right now. Yeah, as predicted, these guys are going to come this way. Line of sight again. Bit of a problem. So what we might do, since we have so much range here, I might take one of them outside. Uh, obviously this guy has to go. Everyone else seems not that big of a deal. Runners are going to be always a problem. Right. I can't do snipe shot anymore. Runner's gone. There's one more over here. Be fine. Festus Quest vibe from the music. I gotta be honest. Festus Quest is the last thing I was thinking about listening to this rockin' soundtrack, man. <laughs> Festus Quest. I definitely still don't want to let anyone inside the boundaries if I can. I'm going to get one of these and make it count, although these guys look pretty easy to kill. I'm even better off with an AoE here. Yeah, I can take out four. Pretty good. 16 left. Did I seriously change my title to not as good as Dolphin Chemist? Yep. <laughs> Dude, I watched him play this game a little bit last night and this morning, and I'm like, we ain't even in the same league. <laughs>
this music doesn't ring a bell but again i i didn't play too much fester's quest either It'd fit right at home in, in Doom, in my opinion. It's about time you did something, bud. I'm a little bit disappointed that you haven't been helping out that much. What do you mean, haven't been helping out? I've been trying. I mean, we all try, don't we? There's a really great documentary on YouTube um, about Mick Gordon. It's a GDC talk, I want to say. One sec. Let me see if I can find it. There you go. Check that out if you haven't already seen it. Very cool doco. This is a talk that he gave. Um, it's not, not like an actual documentary. Three left two of them are here they might put too much damage on this wall i would love to see the health of a wall be good i don't even know if i can get invisibility range here maybe maybe not nah what about you oh you potentially could shit Seventeen health, got it. Easy, easy game. Now night three starts, which is a different kettle of fish altogether. Oh, Malathi, I appreciate that. No, I wasn't being serious. I'm not, you know, it, it, he's definitely uh, an expert at a certain type of game. Um, and this just happens to be that, you know, that genre. I'm not, I'm not putting myself down. I'm, I'm actually quite confident in my abilities. 
So, you'll notice we're getting attacked from two separate directions. Um... We do have a bunch of points to spend though, so let's do that. Dolphin Chemist, um, he has a, a picture of a chair as his as his as himself that's his webcam essentially is a, a picture of a chair it's funny it's wearing a denim jacket maybe that's a a thing i don't know all the dc memes so so nothing really new to unlock here it looks like Uh, it's definitely something dancing or yeah, posing for sure. Block 200 damage. Wait, what? I haven't blocked any damage. I'll take it. Fine. All right, let's look at our reward first. All right, we've got a different wand. Not a bad wand at all, actually. Three magic damage. This one has a, a really cool skill where you can tag up to four different targets and it hits them one after the other. Um, it does cost two and two, so it's not cheap, but uh, it's still it's still definitely worth taking a look at. Six block, nine resistance, 20 isolated. Yes, Steineken, that's correct. Daily mana region. Hmm. I think I'll take that. It's fine. Who needs mana? No one actually. Well. No. Let's keep saving. Go to the shop first. Because I wanna I wanna see what's available. Regular longbow. Let's compare that with our other one. Same, same. Same, same. Plus three move points. Oh shit. That's kind of good. Plus four move points. Twenty two bucks for that, huh? Here's some heavy armor with actual armor on it. Or 
Oh, sorry, light armor. Triple swipe, that's an expensive spell. Alright, let's level up. Who we got here? Range damage? Yeah, that works for me. Reliability? Up to 25%. And isolated enemy reliability as well, an extra 50%. Or steady aim is also very good. Yeah, okay. Next. This is the this is the magic user that I want to sort of change over. Plus one multiple hits with initiator. So that gives us five instead of four. Yep. All right, let's... Uh... Magic damage up. Reliability up or experience gain up. Yeah, it wouldn't be bad. Now we've got our archer here, so I think same thing again. We'll go steady aim. Physical damage is m melee damage, I think. Yes, yep. There's a couple of different systems, or symbols rather. Uh, physical damage is melee damage. Uh, the other is like a fist. And the fist is overall damage, I think. Accuracy again. Sure. Let's roll these. There you go. Thank you, Ultima. Critical. Chances of an attack dealing critical damage. Yeah. All right. Now let's have a look what we got. So the wand I wanted to give to you. I'm going to take that away. I'm going to put that on. And keep the shield. It's totally fine. And do I take your ranged weapon away and swap that with your regular short bow? Run one or two? Oh no, this is like my fifth or sixth at this point. Actually, let's give you a secondary bow. That's kind of your thing. And we'll give 
that to you. You shouldn't need it, but it's fine. Have I beaten it? Oh god, no. Mm -mm. No, not even close. Made it to night six. Okay, we got pretty good defenses here. It's nice. How much do I need for the... Temple would be good. We still need one of those, 55. The Seer would be good, but the Inn, 180. What are the chances I can take everybody out without losing any health? Without building a temple. Strategy for dealing with two fronts. Well, that's the thing. This is the first stage where it starts to get really difficult. Everybody's pretty good on mana. Having a fourth person is definitely helpful. Um, we can't afford that yet, so I think that's our next thing. No, I'm not going to spend anything. We're going to go down here. We're going to earn cash. How much does that give us? 149. How much was it? 180. Can I get 31 bucks from selling stuff? Nah. No way. Yeah, so I'm I'm having my primary archer standing in the middle. Especially with the longbow. But this guy with the longbow as well. And then uh, my magic user over here. Slash. Oh no, we took the bow off her. That's fine. This person will hold their own for sure. No, not with four, four bucks. Although we definitely don't need that. All right, let's build more of these defenses. I know it's not the most amazing thing in the world, but... That'll do. It does keep enemies at bay a little longer. She needs to heal though? Nah, she'll be fine. Seventy two to ninety four isolated, though. Ah, okay, that makes sense. Zephyrno, what's up, dude? Did I hear you're having car troubles today?
AD-102, so that's two shots per. Might be back on seven days a week here soon. Right on, dude. Good to have you here. It's on normal difficulty for the moment, which is the standard difficulty. I don't think there's a harder mode yet. Yes, Miss uh, Messina. Yes, that is definitely the case. There are tons of unlockables. That was kind of epic. We'll do that twice. Seven. Seven. left a couple standing. Rangers are a bit of a problem. We could take damage with Rangers. Actually, you're a problem. I love the range and longbow, so good. No line of sight on him, unfortunately. Um, I could relocate. Well, no, nah, not worth. I want to stay right where I am. He's fine. The wall will take care of that.
I don't know how I knew I was going to miss that. I just had a feeling. So that's a runner. Shit. Same again, maybe five, six. I have to start retreating here. We don't want to let him in because we still want those maximum rewards if possible. Go ahead. Yeah, that's totally fine. We've got three Dodgers coming up. Little bit sketch with those. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm where. I learned that one very quickly. That's it, huh? I think we're okay. Two runners coming in. Take care of them first. Three, four runners coming in. Is one of the disadvantages of not having uh, of having this large minimum distance is that uh, I can't move up here and still be as effective. Yeah, that works. Nice. 
Range is good, man. Range is so good. Fourteen left. We got this. We good, man. No sweat. So the only problem here is that um, if I attack all of these guys, we're going to hit this wall right here. So I do have to be somewhat careful. Or screw it and just go for it. Or we can avoid the wall altogether. Nice work. We did it. I think that's the first time I've reached, um, or had, had night three go perfect. That's good. Quiet night. Didn't panic at all. Night three or later. Nice. Big bonus. So same direction attacking. That's cool. First thing, let's... Uh... Tell me about the other one. Oh, her. <laughs> I believe I, it is a uh, soda and peanut time. If you're curious, stick around.
So first things first, let's build... Well, let's collect our weapon or upgrade first. Seventy-seven to one hundred eight minus ten reliability. Yeah, I'm very tempted by that. Skill range is dope, man. Really dope. Okay. Level up. Range damage. Well, you're not you're not my archer. Daily health regen. Yeah. That's crit chance, I think, right? Or oh, 10 armor. Just in case. More reroll. 10 armor. That's a lot of health. the skill range on it. Yeah, okay. But we do move him around a lot more. Maybe that's not worth. Cherry picking is fine. Definitely cherry picking here. Additional mana. Hmm. These are not ideal. Reliability. Roll. Crap. Isolated is good with longbow. Uh, and this one as well. Especially with a longbow. Because it's very difficult for them to take damage. Unless you're careless. Which... Well, I've, been, I've had my moments. Yo. Accuracy would have been good with him too. All right, next, we want to build a building. Dagger. Interesting.
little bit of AoE wouldn't be a bad thing. Buy that. Okay. Uh, build new structure. We want the inn. We want to put it over here. Now, when do we get that person? Grants the ability to recruit additional heroes. Recruit new heroes. Got another uh, range. Damage, magic damage, physical damage. Range. 19 mana. Twenty two mana. Nine move. Bruno, you're looking good. Two mages, two rangers. Wildling, minus mana, minus armor. Resistance. Doge. Who's got one armed? Uh, Cause one arm does suck big time. Was it Aiden? I'm thinking Bruno, yeah. Oh, here we go, one armed. Got it. Okay. Oh, we can level up Bruno as well? No, poison is a very specific type of damage. Um, not everybody can... Well, you need a specific type of skill to cast poison. Funto. Yeah, you, you know what Funto means. Okay, where is... Here we go. You get that. We've still got a really nice bow here. 67 to 87. That's actually stronger. I'll upgrade you. 
and give this to you as well. Actually, you know what? Let's take that from you. Take that there, put that there. No, wait, 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 wait. Propagation. I went propagation specifically for that reason. Oh, you've got it too. So that's cool. Never mind. All right, work is available. Let's destroy something else here. So that's the thing. So when, when it comes to this uh, user interface, check this out. Um, this is what it normally looks like. Which is good from a playability standpoint, but I realize that you guys can't see shit if I did that. Um, so I, I bumped it up. It definitely obscures a lot more of the screen. I'd like to be able to sort of minimize some of these things. Um, but from a streamer's perspective, it's definitely a, a smart move, I think. Ten nights under the one panic bar. Yes, that I have. Yep. I just got that today, actually. This is some great defenses. It won't last very long, but it's still great. Yes. Yeah, the seer I have unlocked, I've just never been able to afford it. I only got that today. Okay, that'll do. Right then, so we've got longbow. So let's go longbow and inexperienced magic here. Put you here since you're the, the best of the best and then wherever you are. Over here. Oh, wait, you're the new one. No, that's fine. Okay. I'm pretty good with that. Back to hell. Longbow is so good. So good. I cannot express that enough. Yo, you got some damage on you. Okay. The six action points is so good. So good.
Why are these ones missing health already? Oh, they must have got clipped by their buddies. Here we go, runner central. move that I just did is unreal like special very cool oh we got uh, what are they called splitters yeah problem You are quite weak, my friend. Quite weak. Not much range on them, that's the good thing, I guess. there could have got another kill wow no kidding Armored's coming in as well. Question mark. Doesn't even know if he's going to kill him.
Let's keep her focused over here. that mana, huh? <laughs> Magisto, no sweat, dude. Have a great night, and uh, I'll see you again soon. I didn't refill my mana, idiot. I went, that's one thing I didn't do on the last go around. That's gonna hurt. Gonna hurt a lot. Should be able to get by with four. It's not gonna last forever. are down. Yeah, that's going to cost me big time. Um, well, let's see how we go. Yeah, it shows you the number once I think everybody's on, on the field or about to be on the field. But the progress bar is, I think, indicative of how the run is going, right? Oh, it's only my first turn that gives you an additional multi-hit. I thought it was all turns, unless that's a bug. Don't move the Hiso Hiso. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> Bad memories from that one quest. Horrible.
Okay. What the fuck? Did I miss something there? I know it said action points remaining. Uh, missed a, must have missed a character. My bad. Runner was behind the wall. Ah. Well, that sucks. You have enough for another you do not and i've got no pots man i that was really poorly planned not the last move although that was bad too but oh well I'm having a good time with it, and I think mostly it boils down to the um, the meta progression. It's about to get hectic up in here. Got a lot of incoming. Might have to retreat. Sweat. 20 left though. We're, we're doing okay considering. I at least want to clear out the stress. Which I should be able to do, I think.
So close. Okay, I think we're okay. Hey Jason, what's going on? How you doing? Playing more uh, The Last Spell tonight. Four left. Close. Of course you'd go that way. Why the hell not? Did it? Zero stress again. things up on me. All right. Let's go unlock some more stuff. I'm going to set up my my peanut drink. I devour. Additional mage done. 800. There's something for 800. There you go. Magician set. Kill 50 archers, steel pauldrons, steel greaves, elven boots, walk 1500 tiles, piece of cake. Have I played Papers, Please? Uh, long time ago, yes. Um, Good atmosphere, but I didn't really like the game. It's not a slight on the game, by the way. That's just, yeah, it just wasn't really my thing. Shortbow 3, huh? Plus 10% ranged. Kinda good. All right. I gotta refill some mana, which means I have to probably build another one of these. Which means I might not get that other building that you were talking about before. Okay. 
Yo, action point increase? Sold. Experience gain. Mm, yep. Yeah, yeah. While at full health. Is he at full health? Nowhere near it. Thrifty, the first mana consuming skill used during. Aha, nice. Bruno. Bruno's a level behind. You are at max health, though. Fairly mana regen. Reliability up to 20%. Propagation bounces plus one. <laughs> In upgrade, what does that do? Where's my in? Is it? Oh, wow. Reveal additional data about the next enemy horde. Also repel the fog for a short time during production phase with the help of workers. I want to see what this does. Moves the fog line two tiles further from the city. Wow. Reveals the ratio per direction of incoming enemies. Only useful when dealing with several directions at once. And an upgrade. Unlocks the guess who ability. Reveals the full list of enemies for tonight's horde. Requires two workers. One use per production phase. We'd need a house or two for that as well. Oh man, 
I might need a house anyway. I got 55. That's a house. Cause I gotta, I gotta recharge mana here. Shit, I've only got one building. Oh man. 10 mana. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, I don't think you can rotate buildings. Yeah, let's give it all to you. So I'm going to need another one of these. Nice. That's so good. Might as well do this as well. Um, same, I guess, equal. Nice, we've got a little river here. Both equal strength, okay. You're going. Love to clean this up a little bit. This gets real messy when shit starts coming in. Put you there. Hey, Dougie, how you doing, man? I'm doing very well, my dude. Very well indeed. I've seen Lancers on night four. Silver beard, six months, man. Six months. Six months of uh, exceptional beardalism. Poison takes down Lancers super well within a turn uh, if you've got strong poison. Stone wall defense. Ooh. Nice. Reinforced stone wall. 45 with 165 health. That's not bad. Hmm. Oh, stone blocks line of sight. Okay, got it. Understood. Um, yeah, I think that'll do for now. This is kind of... I'll move over there if necessary. Still haven't equipped my gear. Should 
Short bow three. Who was I going to give that to? No, I'm going to keep the range on you. It's what I use with you anyway. Now I'm questioning why I even bought it. Second weapon slot, yeah, I guess. Alright folks, give me a sec. I'm gonna go grab uh, another beverage. We'll be right back here. <laughs> 